All right. Well, hello, everybody. It's Royal Fan is here. Welcome back to the channel and to another live stream. I know it's been a couple of weeks. Sorry about that. Uh, I wasn't feeling too well. Uh, and I've had like a really kind of just bad lingering cough, which kind of made commentary a little bit complicated. I still do have a cough, but uh, hopefully it will not be bad enough to ruin the stream experience. And I was busy. And you know, all that good stuff. But here I am today, finally getting an opportunity to stream Blitz. Uh, and quite a few changes have happened since I last streamed, which I think we will start off by discussing the elephant in the room, which is the skill-based matchmaker. I will be honest, I've only played five games of pubs. So I really haven't tried it out too much. It was an interesting experience, uh, but I have been talking to some of my clanmates that have played more games as well as other great players like MJ and everything like that. And they all kind of have a similar experience. If you're good at the game, have fun losing more than you win. And if you're bad at the game, you'll probably actually benefit from the matchmaker. Uh, it's very controversial, not too surprising, which is kind of funny though, because people have been like wanting skill-based matchmaker for the longest time. Uh, and now I see all these big YouTube channels and stuff like that, like <laughs> being all negative about it. And everyone's like, oh, it's the worst thing ever. We're giving, not listening to their players, not listening to the big YouTubers. But like, here's the thing that we need to understand for matchmaker from more gaming's perspective, at least, at least I'm trying to, okay. Um... The players that are going to be most vocal and upset about this matchmaker is going to be the top 5% of the player base. The players that are 60, 65 to 75% win rate that are 2,800 to 3,800 average damage consistently, right? Those types of players. We're the ones that are going to get the toughest time in terms of matchups, which is to be understandable given the kind of idea behind the algorithm. But like 90 to 95% of the player base technically should benefit from this type of matchmaker system. Uh, and so I think Wargaming really is thinking about the player base when they made this decision. But in terms of, um, yeah, players like me, it's probably not going to be the most pleasant experience. I think win rate's going to be a lot less uh, indicative of a player's skill now. And you're going to have to base a player's skill more based on their average damage consistency and stuff like that. Uh, if you can't get... A 70% win rate solo as a 70% player now in tier 10 meds or something. That's pretty impressive. At least uh, that's my opinion on it. So I thought I'd just mention it. And to be fair, this will be my first prolonged experience with it. Yes, I'm on the press account. The press account has better stats than my own account. So trust me, I'm not getting better matchmaking on this account. It will have the exact same type of matchmaker. Uh, so if anything, it'll be worse because this account's statistics are a lot better. We will see. Uh, and now we've talked about that, just like to say hello to everybody in the stream. Great to see you, as always. Thank you very much for showing up and do appreciate the support. So let's talk about the 62A. All right, 62A got PBR. What are the bad things? Uh, it lost a degree of gun depression, went from seven to six. And I know for a lot of players and myself included, probably that's going to be a bit of a disappointment. But let's be honest here. The 62A seven degrees of gun depression was a little bit on the, I would say, too strong side of things. I actually think six degrees is much more balanced. Like, there's no reason the object 140 should still have six and the 62A is seven. I think in terms of balancing, I just made the 62A a little bit too strong compared to, like, the 140. Now the 62A is back at six degrees. It's still better than when it had five. So it's not, not the worst case scenario in the world, but it did lose a degree of gun depression. What may have been a good change? When it got PBR, as you can see, by looking at the front profile of the 62A, it shrunk. Actually... Like, in many ways, its turret looks tinier than the 140s now, all right? It's like a little bit tinier. The angling also got a little bit more extreme. If you're looking at the front, the, small, the front of the turret is very tiny now compared to what it used to be. It did get a bit of a hatch on the right side, but for the most part, that the hatch is extremely angled as well. It actually isn't too much of an issue. I think you still need around 330 or so heat to actually even pen it, and even then, uh, you have to hit it kind of towards the roof of the hatch and not even like towards the center. It's a pretty strong hatch. The one PBR error, or well, not error, weakness that has been a surprising problem is this little viewport right here on the bottom part of the turret. Yeah, that viewport is a pen box. And I will tell you so many times in the three or so games I played in the 62A, okay? <laughs> 
players have accidentally hit that viewport shooting for the hatch and penned it. It's a little bit annoying because it can get penned by standard ammo. That's a bit of a rip. The front of the turret, the angling looks a little bit stronger. So I think against heat rounds, it's actually better than it used to be. And I looked at it in a training room with 340 heat on an E5, and it was actually surprisingly much more red than the old 62 race turret. So overall, I think the turret armor did receive a buff. The hull armor is still great. You're still going to get a lot of ricochets off that upper plate, especially with some angling. Uh, I'm not too certain about the sides. We'll have to see about that. But uh, yeah, basically, that's the, the major changes to the T62A. I think we'll jump into some games and uh, we'll see how things go. Hopefully, it goes pretty well. And uh, determine if the 62A is still worth getting, because I think definitely for the last um, half a year or so, it has been a very, very strong tier to medium tank and well worth investing in. But I'm not sure about now. Hopefully, this stream can answer that. But once again, let's not leave win rate as too much of an indicator of the tank uh, if the tank is good because of the new matchmaker. Let's base this more on how does it perform in a variety of scenarios? How does its armor hold up? Is the gun depression going to be that much of an issue? Uh, and the gun, all, that's, all those types of things. <clears throat> All right, I plan to go to bed. Now I'm going to watch your stream for hour, for hours. Shame on you, Betty. Sorry, Svolf. My bad. Oh, wow. The enemy team has two T62As. Uh, a Type 61. I got a Kuro. A lot of meds in this matchup. All right. So, yeah. Man, the 63 just looks so tiny. I'm not used to seeing it with such a tiny turret. It's really rather weird. Let's take a blind shot in the crossing here. I usually like to do that for the early game stuff. I don't know if I really want to commit to the corner with double 62As and a Type. So, I might just pull up into this bush. Especially since they have tanks like a Chieftain, that's a bit concerning. Um, let's put a quick shot to this 62A here and pull back. There we go. Got a ricochet as well. Aiming for a side, and you can see that I went up to the bush specifically, so I wouldn't overexpose my armor profile too much there. So that's the good news. And even with six degrees, we are still pretty comfortably able to hold this ridge. But man, look at that turret. Look how small the, the, he the hip marker is on the turret. Now, this is about 300 heat, so 300 heat can barely pen the cheeks of the turret and it has to be very close to the gun area that is the kind of overall turret armor change that i saw that i think is going to make the tank loki a little bit stronger let's put a half shot into this dude 62 is gun 330 alpha i believe or yeah it is 330 alpha but man does that gun feel good even with 330 alpha all right let's put a quick shot into this dude hit <laughs> as i roll 277 our poor caro here is not having the time of his life let's wait for this type to pull up again maybe not quite able to hit him there and unfortunately, the Caro died, but I didn't want to overextend. We are a little bit outclassed on this corner here. And so my primary objective for now is to kind of just hold, hold this side here. Hopefully with the support of an ally or two. I can't back up too much, so we're just going to have to hope for the heavy tank support behind us. But uh, yeah, that, that, min that Minerato is going to be a huge problem for us. That's for sure. Let's put a quick shot to the Chieftain here. There we go. Just getting as much damage out as I can. Um, I don't care if the Minerato shoots at me. I'm going to try and take some shots here for the WZTD because I think that's going to be important. If we're going to have a chance of winning this, we need to make sure this WZTD is okay. Uh, let's put a track shot towards this dude. Maybe not quite able to hit the tracks there. Not a whole lot I can do in this scenario, to be honest. Minerato still pulled in and we are definitely dead. Yep, not much I can do there. Um... Wow, our 1A3 dropped into the ditch, but he could have just held that quarter there and provide great cover fire. And our E5 is stuck in Narnia. Well, that's, uh, yep, yeah, E5 and 113 have been facing a tier 9 Fosh this whole time. Impressive work. I don't think we're going to win this, boys. I don't think we're going to win this. Even with these two heavy takes here, this 113 is about to get ripped apart if he gets tracked here to Jover. Or not, or not. Uh, interesting, okay. Armor on the 62A felt decent enough. You could see most players there were choosing to shoot at the lower plate instead of even shooting the upper plate. So that just goes to show the hall is still quite effective uh, because it was probably like semi-red, mostly red for them. And so they had to actually aim it for the lower plate. I was kind of stuck in the open. Not a whole lot I could do there, unfortunately, with the amount of cover fire we had. And the fact that they sent a Minerato, the Minerato definitely... Uh, Definitely kind of screwed over our team. <laughs> yeah, if he hadn't been there, I think we would have been fine. But that tank is just so annoying to deal with in a frontal engagement. And I couldn't quite flank him with two 62As on the enemy team there. But um, well played to the enemy team. They'll probably win the cap there. Meanwhile, me who haven't played pubs for so long, somehow got the 30-day stats up to Unicom. LOL. Hmm. New matchmaking. I'm not going to blame everything on new matchmaker, guys. Like... I mean, to be fair, how many random battles in the past two years have I had a very similar experience trying to hold D-side and my allies were just pretty bad? I mean, it, it happens all the time before matchmaking or not. It just might happen a little bit more often. 
<laughs> uh, when is gravity coming? I have no clue. I don't pay attention to the game mode release dates. New matchmakers are to balance fatness. I guess. Yeah. I don't think I did all that much that game, but I probably still did top three on the team. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. That's just a guess. The upper plate now is good in semi hold down positions. The upper plate on the 63 is very strong. I only play ratings and fun modes now. Well, here's the fun fact. You can just play pubs. They're pretty much ratings. Um, yeah, I did I did top damage on my team. Unfortunately, man, if that 183 just hugged that corner maybe a little better, he might have been able to prevent the Minerato from pulling in. Uh, and the WZTD hitting one shot there as well. So, not the best team. Um, not the worst I've had, but... <laughs> could have been a little better, that's for sure. Fantasy, play M60 or Patton? Uh, probably not today, but... Eventually, I'll probably play them again. Personally, just can't stand this new matchmaker compared to the previous. And because of it, I really don't have any reason to play Blitz. At least, till the Italian Heavies come out. <laughs> Fast to OP Wargaming, please nerf. No, no, I've already been nerfed by the matchmaker. I don't think I can get nerfed anymore. I mean, must have at least three players, 46% out of your team. Quit pubs due to matchmaking, now playing ratings for a bit. Dang. All the, all the good players out here struggling. Uh, it's okay. I understand. <laughs> this match makes screw my stats up so much. Yeah, like like I said, you will probably not be able to base skill off of win rate anymore to to the same extent as it was before, um, which is a bit unfortunate. But that's just the truth of things, right? Let's see what we can do here. Usually, I don't push up all the way into C, but if the STB doesn't go to the corner, never mind. He does go to the corner. That's not good. My goal right now is just to kind of spot up what their team is doing. Alright, we have the STB. It's put a hat shot into him. Nice quick early hat shot into the STB. And one of the TDs crossed. And let's see. Yeah, okay. That's that's a that's a bit of a red flag to me, to be honest. My allies are going town. Um and honestly, right now, I think the best play would be to pull back just a bit. Pull back just a wee bit here. Um, because I don't want to get overrun. Right now, we need to wait for my allies to start pushing in from the outside left here. I'm going to keep covering our STB if I can. I'm trying to decipher which position would be the best for me to take. Uh, this is not looking good for me and my teammates here. Alright, let's put it... Ah, nope, I'm not going to overextend there. I don't want to take a 700 to 1000 damage there if I can help it. Alright. So STB is pulling back, buddy, buddy, buddy. Yep, there you go. Give me a little bit of space to work here. And here's where we have to make a good old-fashioned decision. Which way do we want to go? We have an STB above us. Now, I do fortunately have a Yo over here. So, I'm going to pull into this secondary ditch here. We might take a shot from the bat shot here. There we go. Managed to avoid that. And I want to take a bit of a hold down position here that can maybe counter some of their plays. There we go. Shot to the STB. Uh, not STB. Amex 50B. Wrong B. And let's put another shot to the 50B here. Nice. The 50B hopefully will get taken down shortly. We'll also focus our attention on the bat chat because he's a bit of a danger. Good stuff. And uh, you know what? We're not doing so bad at the moment. And Bobby is currently trying to lie down on my lap. How cute. All right. Nice. No spall on the grill. So I had to make the right rotation here. That's for sure. That was um, a bit of a surprise, but the grill does manage to heat pen my turret. A bit elbows amiss on my part getting penned there. That was not necessary, but it is what it is. Heavies are still holding here. We actually have a pretty decent chance at winning this. I just need to make sure this bat chat dies for start. And, oh no. Let's see, do we have the reload to get the Mr. Bash off the on here? Not quite. Oh, uh, but he's in a bad spot. He is in a bad spot. That's the good news. He can't really move from there very well. Uh, Minerato also not looking to be the best in the best of shape here. Is the grill. Quick shot to him there. Let's have to watch for the crossfires. And uh, I don't know if this grill is yellowing up or not, but another shot to him there. 62 A's gun doing its job quite well. And even with six degrees of gun depression, we are more than capable of working this position. So let's pick up a kill here. And since we do have supremacy cap points, we are pretty much all set to win this game here. Once I kill this Minerato, we will win in a moment's time. Not too shabby. So I will take that. I think we played that well. Um, one thing to count to call just call attention to is always pay attention to what your teammates are doing there. That's how I knew it was time to pull back and get ready to rotate around. And usually that's a pretty strong play. If you can rotate around to that back hill, if you're losing your spawn positioning, like, you know, they had the mouse, the, you know, the medium tanks, everything pushing it to our spawn. We couldn't quite work there. Making that rotation all the way around the hill 
and getting hold down kind of near their spawn to create a bit of a crossfire with their allies is usually a pretty pretty good play to make. That's the play I went with there and it worked out quite well. Oh, thank you, Nakalai, for the $20 hard. donation. Assign tanks instead of players, instead of players rating rating points. Rating points large and large maps. Slash add 10v10 slash <laughs> and and stop nukes from buying tier 10 and 9 tanks. tanks. WG doesn't realize that they are re-killing their own game. PC, PC comp comp win. <laughs> Nikolai, thanks for the donation. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know if we need 10 V10s. Maybe for a game mode. Um, I still, I still think 7 V7s is a fine uh, size for Blitz because you have to remember that you know this game still has to be playable on potato phones, and so yeah. Enlarging maps also questionable. Once again, I'm, I don't think it would hurt, but we'll see. Thank you again for the donation. And oh, Rent, Wrench Jeff, thank you very much for the five gifted subs as well. If you did receive a membership from Wrench, make sure to send him a thank you in the chat. Has your winner dropped since update 10.7? Honestly, I haven't played enough games in order to make that, uh, to make that. <laughs> Uh, comparison yet if my winner is actually worse or not so that's why you know this stream is going to be my first actual take into the um, matchmaker for a prolonged period <clears throat> what do you think about the new matchmaker I mean last game seemed pretty fine it wasn't like the sweatiest thing in the world and we did win and uh, even though my teammates made a questionable play the cap play in, in the end actually kind of worked okay for us and we were able to position correctly so that game was fine the first game definitely wasn't the best uh, don't forget to like the stream, guys. Thank you, uh, Zvalf. I, I still need to forget Zvalf. Zvalf. I, I can't forget how to pronounce your name. Ten v ten would be cool for larger maps such as New Himmelsdorf rework, Maldike Lagoon, etc. Maybe, maybe. I don't know if ten v ten actually makes the game better. To be honest, it, it just means your ability to influence the matchup is is uh, lessens as time as as the queues get bigger. Um, which could be good if you're relying on a lot of Pepegas on your team, I suppose. Uh, point of 10 v 10 big mass to buffer to my two min seven zeros. Well, here's the thing. The matchmaker should reduce those two minute seven, seven zero games. And according to Wargaming's, uh, I think I read, it, I read into it a little bit, but according to point their test with the matchmaker, it does prolong the average time of games. Because you're less likely to maybe get like three seventy percenters on one team that just absolutely annihilate the enemy team of forty percenters. Um, so like I see the logic of the decision, if that makes sense. All right, let's put a quick shot to Mr. SDB here. Mr. SDB, hello, Mr. SDB. Let's put a shot towards your hatch. Oh no, I suck at shooting. Here is where a degree of gun depression would be really nice right about now, as you can see. And we do have Mr. Frog pushing up quite aggressively as well. See if we can put a shell into him. He fires twice there. There's a whole recovering in the back as well. STB is covering this corner. I don't want to overextend here because they could still have a 405 back there. So let's take it nice and easy. And my heavy tanks still haven't moved out. I don't even think there's heavy tanks over on this side, which is kind of funny. So our heavy tanks are taking quite some time to clear out. Oh, nice. Prog gets taken down. That's actually a huge, huge W for my allies. Let's see. I might be able to start dealing with the 30B soon. Let's see. Okay, the 30B might have spotted me up there. See if we can push up just a little bit. There we go. Quick shot in there. I might have blocked our Carol shot. If that's the case, my apologies, good sir. That was a that was an oopsie on my part. Nice. Okay. Hori is now pushing up quite aggressively. Let's not give him a free shot onto me just yet. Now he's fired. Aim for a drive wheel shot, maybe. Fortunately, missing it. But that Hori has made a quite the, quite the sizable oopsie, if I say so myself. There we go. Another track shot. Now we'll see if we can bounce the Hori's premium AP. There we go. Another shell to Mr. Hori here. Hello, Mr. Hori. Maybe I can pick up a clear. Nice. There's the 405 as well. And the 752 is just kind of chilling over here. So I think we're good to win this game. I think we should be good to win this game. Now, do I want to take a full clip from the 405? Is the real question here. <laughs> Maybe not. $9. Maybe $9. not. Let's try and pull it to cover here just a little PC bit. Comp is there the we only go. Thing that'll make me passionate about this game now. There we go. Another Imagine shot to this 405 to here. 405 is still chilling around this corner. I think I'm probably just going to pressure him a little bit here, even if I take some more shots from the STB. There we go. Um, and let's see if we can do anything about Mr. 405. 1HG into him here. Let's, pull, let's keep pulling through. Okay, we managed to bait one shot there, and we, oh, oh, we managed to bait a second shot there, 
As you can see, the skill-based matchmaker giving me the, uh, the epitome of 60 percenters on the enemy team. I was playing that like an idiot. Oh my gosh, how did I survive? PC Com is the only thing that will make me passionate about the game now. Imagine being able to expect average players to read maps, uh, instead of yellowing and dying after getting, <laughs> after, uh, getting mad at being shot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Blitz. Alright, up oh, it's Jover for me now. There we go. Not a bad game. <laughs> Enjoy the new matchmaking fatness. I mean, the last two games have been okay. It might go downhill from here. It might go downhill from here. TCG go burr. Indeed it does. I figured the 405 was on a mag reload the moment he pulled around the corner, but at first I was baited because he put his consumable reload on for one shot. Like who who puts their intraquip reload boost on for one shell, man? I thought he had more than one. Uh, otherwise, I would have kept the pressure up a little bit faster there. About 4k damage. Not too shabby. Um, mobile is irrelevant. <laughs> mobile. Poor mobile players, man. We're all irrelevant. Don't make me feel bad. I feel like the last mobile streamer nowadays. Which I'm not, but it feels that way sometimes. If the matchmaking was totally random, it would be way better for green and red teams. Well, I, I obviously, I'm still a big supporter of the random, like, completely 100% random matchmaking mechanic i think that for random battles that makes the most sense um but at the same time i kind of understand why skill-based matchmaking would be introduced as well we will see maybe it'll work out maybe wargaming will eventually remove it i think they probably will eventually tweak it my only concern is if the better you are at the game the less you win then that's kind of like just an f in the chat um if like professional players and good players are running at 30% win rate and like 3,500 average damage every single time they play the game, then that's just like, mm, that, that seems like the matchmaking is a little too strict against them, but we'll see. All right. <clears throat> um, is that E100? Okay, not penning to that. One thing I've really have grown pleasantly surprised with is just how nice the T62A's gun feels. Like, it is, it should not be as good as it is, I think, <laughs> given its armor profile. And the fact that it has decent mobility. And, uh, STB, I think you have overextended here just a little bit, buddy. Maybe a little bit is, a, is, a, is, an, is an understatement. You have massively overextended here, buddy. Yeah. It just just a little bit, you know? Just a little bit of overextending. All right, let's watch out for this Karo here. Oh, no. The Karo done yeeted one of my allies. That's a rip. However, we might be able to kill him here. There we go. Get a nice clear on him there at least. 50B is yellowing up from below. We do have this T100 LT here. Let's pop a quick shell to him and let's back up from Mr. Fosh here. There we go. Mr. Fosh can't shoot at me just yet. That's good news for me. Uh, Mr. T100 LT is just chilling here as well. All right, let's see if Mr. Fosh gives me a shot. There we go. Quick shell to Mr. Fosh here. Mr. Fosh doesn't quite have any more shots on me. Quick shot to Mr. T100LT here, using that armor profile to angle up against Mr. T100LT, who has massively overextended here. Another shot to my mans. Very good. I think we played this out quite well so far. All right, Mr. Fosh here probably wants to get shot again, so let's put a quick shot to him as well. And, yep, I've just been playing defense. Looks like my team should win this battle as well, I think. Quick track shot. Let's watch for the 50B's positioning. He's looking for me as well. Mr. Fosh might give me a side shot here in a moment's time. Mr. 50B, do you want to poke me, buddy? Not quite. Okay, that's fine. Uh, looks like Mr. Fosh has done made a boo-boo. <laughs> and Mr. 50B is getting quite aggro here, if I say so myself. This might be a good time to take advantage of that. All right. Oh, that was a... That was a yiker shot up by me. Come on, give me that damage, Mr. 50B. Yes, 500 HE damage. That's what I'm talking about. I'll kill the 50B. You have fun with the 200 LT, hurry, okay? Sound like a plan, buddy? I hope that sounds like a plan. <laughs> Maybe I'll kill the 200 LT as well. There we go. And hello. We didn't even take a shot of damage that game. This tank's armor profile is quite good. I, I'm kind of vibing with the 62A. I don't know about y'all. I think it still feels great. Yes, the... Negative one degree of gun depression is quite noticeable on a lot of maps. Um, and you can even see that game. I had to finesse my tank a little bit more to create that artificial gun depression. But that was another pretty chill 4k win. Um, yeah, okay. I'll take it. I just had to hold the hill. I mean, I was, I mean what, what else could I say? 
<laughs> I just held hill. I held hill and farm. Uh, today I did 7.5k damage with my bat check. Congratulations. This is no different than tipping your bartender, but fattest is fattest. Thank you, Knuckle. I really do appreciate that, by the way. And uh, the donation from earlier as well. If I didn't say thank you, sorry. I was in the middle of the game. Might have been a little distracted. Hey, Sagalo. <clears throat> C62 is OP for real? I wouldn't say OP. I'd say it's still just a very solid med. I wouldn't even put it as the one of the best meds, but it is, it, in my opinion, is still up there. It's just a very good med. I'm always pleasantly surprised by the gun because on paper, its gun should suck in terms of its accuracy. But for some weird reason, it still feels really good. Obviously, nowhere near as accurate as the earlier iterations of the T62A, but I don't find myself... Um, feeling that man the gun needs to be like so much better one thing that helps with the 62 is it has so much turret armor that you are given time to fully aim in your shots um or even snapshot when necessary that uh, that always will make a pretty big difference in terms of a tank's uh how a tank feels is uh having that armor to aim in your shells i gotta be a bit careful here in case the enemy team do decide to bomb all the way down a which does appear to be the case um and since that does appear to be the case i am going to probably make the rotation out now and let's hope we make it out in time without getting HE'd up the booty by, by a WZTD, which we do, unfortunately. Not get HE'd, but we do get nuked. Um, this is still going to be a running away simulator. Let's just see if we can get out alive. And we can. Yep. Okay. So I had a feeling that enemy team might do that. There's really nothing you can do in that scenario. We'll just have to hope our allies win. Oof, that was a rip. Their whole team came... Not their whole team, but basically the enemy team had one E3 on heavy side and the rest of their team bombed in. I had a feeling that was going to be the play. I even hesitated. Oh, there's our STRV. Not sure what this buddy's doing back here, but hello, dude. Oh, he hits a shot. Oh, boy. Well, that was a that was a, a rip elbows on momento. Let's let's play a game in the 140 while we wait, because that's that was just that was just way too sad. I don't want to watch that. Well, y'all on the 140 jump back at the 62A. Yeah, that's one thing. I'm usually pretty comfortable making that play, but. I saw their lineup. I saw IS-7s, 5As, WZTDs, and I even stated that this might be an over-aggressive play. That was, um, that was kind of my fault. I should have been more passive there. Yeah, I definitely should have been more passive. What am I talking about? Kind of? Nah, I should have been more passive there. I even, like, it even crossed my brain that we're just gonna get YOLO swarmed by a bunch of heavies. Uh, and I, and I still made the play that I felt would be best for the early game positioning, but... That was definitely a bit of a mistake there. So uh, just uh, pretend that didn't happen, please. <laughs> bit of an, uh, of an oopsie play there. There wasn't a whole lot for me to do once I was in that position because unfortunately, when you take an aggressive spotting position like that, it's pretty hard to get out. I was hoping that the 183 for crossfires would be enough to prevent the enemy team from full sending it. But when you have a bunch of heavy tanks and basically heavy TDs, it's, it's not all that uncommon for them to just send it like that. So it should have been something I was a little bit more aware of right off the bat. Interesting. So there is an enemy T-125 around this corner. And to be fair, you probably shouldn't go for heavy tank engagements in your Object 140. On the other hand... Oh my gosh. On the other hand, if my allies eventually wake up and start helping me out properly here... Come on, heavy tanks, you can go. You can do it, heavy tanks, you can do it. Come on, heavy tanks, you can do it. You can push. Oh, there you go. I don't know why you're all stopping back there. We can literally over overmatch this side. Their team is super split. Let's go. They only have two heavies on this corner. Thank you. Go. <laughs> oh my gosh, these silly little heavy tanks. Look at them. Look at look at these silly heavy tanks back here. I mean, look at oh my gosh, that sheaf did is just like hardcore tunneling. Like holy smokes, my dude. <laughs> One dollar and ninety nine cents. Thank you very much, Laclai. Mistook a sixty two for a one hundred and forty one species oh my gosh, of the PBR man. was sad. <laughs> yeah, it's honestly pretty easy to make that mistake. Okay, we have lost our spawn, guys. If we don't move, we are literally gonna lose this. Wait, what happened to our BZ? How is our BZ on five hundred health? It's he's a top tier heavy tank at the very beginning of the battle. That doesn't even make sense to me, to be honest. Yeah, well, that's uh, that blitz player base for you. Yeah, it's it's G over. It's all G over for me, boys. It is all G over. We, we don't did an oopsie going to this side, I think, but I'm not trying too hard this game in the 140s. I kind of want to get hot back into the 62A as quickly as possible. Uh, so that's kind of the goal here. We'll see. A100 is already half health. That's uh, also a rip momento. 
Let's see if the 268 will at least give me a shot here. Thank you. Do appreciate that, Mr. 268. And let's see if we can get a ricochet from him. What am I talking about? It's a 140. This tank doesn't have any turret armor at all. Okay, awesome. Let's just jump back into the next battle. Good. Good, 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 good. All right, let's see. This one definitely was an El Elbozimus moment for me. Yep, that's a rip. Unfortunately, we did not win. I'm not too surprised. Wow, our heavy tanks really did bottom damage there. Except for me. <laughs> All right, let's jump back to the 62A. I knew it was kind of silly. It took my 140 to the town there, but I did not care. I was not trying to go for a prolonged engagement there. Um... How do you feel about the new matchmaker? Like I say, I will form an opinion on it once I have played like 100 plus games in it. Because right now, I've hardly played anything in the new matchmaker. Alright, let's see. Keep running against this blizzard, dude. I wonder if he's stream sniping. Because quite literally, there is a long delay between games and yet he's always in my battles. Kind, kind of sus, dude. And you're also playing- you, you are also just happen to be playing a 62A now. We'll see. If it's stream snipers plus bad matchmaker, oh boy. Oh boy! He got himself 183'd. Okay, well, that's an interesting start to the game. That's also an interesting start to the game here. Let's see if we can bait him with a little bit of the wiggles. Hello, good sir. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going, good sir? Come on, team. Nuke him. Nuke, nuke the silly player. Please and thank you. Anyways, we got a KPZ pushing in, so I got to push across to safety here, if at all possible. Oh, hello. Nice. Okay. 62A is making a full-on break for it. And this dude's just going to yellow for me, so let's track him up here. Then we're, got, we're not going to let him push over on me. There we go. That's the safe play to make. So I mean for it. And now I have a Vickers as well for support over here, so if this KPZ gets a little bit over-aggressive. There we go, Mr. Vickers. Let's push in together here, buddy. Oh boy, that KPZ armor profile do be something else. All right. Excuse me, good sir. I will see if I can track him at least. Oh my goodness, not quite. Okay. Just, you know what, just let me hold this corner. I have at least a little bit more armor here, so I might be able to help out a little bit more. There we go, 62A armor profile is doing a very good job here. All right. Oh, nice one, E5. No, 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 don't shoot at me. Yes, you silly, you silly, you silly tank. Bro, 62A armor profile really does go burr. It does. All right, let's see. I'm a little concerned the 183 is still unspotted. Let's hope we don't get hashed in the side. Oof, there he is. Okay, good. We should not get hashed in the side, guys. All right. I uh, don't quite have shots from here. Looks like our Fenric? Fenric? I don't know what that tank is. Is, uh, chilling for now. Awesome. Well, well played to our 183. He was a good TD in terms of cover fire this battle so far. Did an excellent job providing that cover fire, and that is what is allowing my team to comfortably win town and hopefully now overtake the rest of or comfortably win dunes $1 and now push and 99 to cents from Narkly. Maybe WG is trying to calm the toxic WR culture. <laughs> Maybe uh, trying to overcome the win rate culture? Potentially. You know, I wouldn't be too surprised if that was the case. All right, let's focus the 183 first. He's more dangerous. There we go. Now I can deal with this player here. Hello, good sir. Give me that kill. 4.4k damage. Maybe we're going to try to call, uh, is calm the toxic winner culture. I mean, maybe. I, I think their goal is to try and, you know, get the player base average winner up to 50% or maybe a little higher if possible. Um, which I, you know, like once again, I'm not going to be too, I'm not going to rail wargaming for this right off the bat. $1.99. Comments <laughs> be slowly rad, so, so, <laughs> so no more so try no hard rat. Hard rat. 44% <laughs> of people say TCGA uh, average is diabolical. I agree, MJ. Except for the one game where I played a bit like a, uh, man, a little too aggressive, uh, which was a little earlier. I've been performing quite consistently this tank for the most part. I feel it's been really, really quite decent. And man, its armor is just so troll. Armor is really, really troll. Thanks again, Nuklai, for the donations. It's average amazing for T62A. Maybe. <laughs> All right, let's see. We got a TVP, a Sheridan, uh, a 121, a WZ-120, two T-30s, and a Chieftain. It is very likely we're going to have a 7-tank, or at least a 5-6-tank five, five, engagement over on the side of the map. I would be I'd be extremely surprised if the enemy team didn't just send their whole team here. So, but one quick shout-out to him. You know what I find kind of funny about the 62A? My actual favorite part about this tank right now, it has to be its gun. I just feel its alpha just high rolls so much. 
And it just feels very satisfying to play. Um, let's see. Okay, most of my team is coming for support. That is amazing for us. Sure, and wave breaker. I see, I see, I see you. And I'm gonna keep holding this corner for the time being. The one one's going for a high side spot run here. And, um, oh, it's a 120. It's not a one to one it's a 120. I don't need to be so concerned about it then. Hello, Chief. Would you like to make a peek on me? No? No, that's really rather, rather, rather uncool of you not to peek me there. Oh, see, 409 damage? Like, oh, it's a 62A would only dream of hitting that hard. <laughs> An old school 62A, I mean, could only dream of hitting that hard. <laughs> I'm not really sure what this 1-2-1's one, one's doing here, but he is still spotting up galore. I think what I'm gonna get ready to do now is drop down from here, because I'm worried about the crossfires from A side. There we go. Chieftain bouncing off of me there. TVP rotating back around. I should be safe now. Indeed, we are quite safe for the time being. It's unlikely that I'll have to deal with any super nasty crossfires from here. I can use this hill as some degree of cover fire, or as a, of cover, not cover fire. Uh, if this chieftain decides he wants to start pushing up on me. Attach snipe the chieftain and pull back once again behind the second hill here. Getting my tech nice and safe. Mr. Chieftain is still looking for me. Mr. 183 with the nuke. Very good. RE75 unfortunately does get taken out there, but I think we are still chilling for now. WZ light though, maybe overextending a little bit. Let's see, is TVP gonna push up on him? Maybe a little bit. Oh my TDs! You are absolutely insane! Both of our TDs so far have just been absolutely wrecking the enemy team. Like, holy smokes, man. Oh, you don't want to poke me again? That's so rude of you, man. You wanted to play so hard earlier. Alright, let's so wait for my camera to reset, then I'm sending it on this dude here. Because we know where the 1 2 1 is. The 1 2 1 is like the one that shot at me from town side. Ooh, maybe a max roll with HE? Oh, 460. Saucy. Alright, we don't know where the other TDs are, but my hunch is that they're still kind of covering this side. Let's track this dude here in place. My goal is to, once again, keep him in the open so my allies can clear him out here with me. There we go. Let's try and angle up our hall a little bit here. Nice. You see that angling of the hall? The 63's armor is just really good for this. Get him, Sarah B. Get him. I'm pushing him out. Please don't let me take another shot here. Nice. And now I got to recap A for my team. That's the reason why I rushed into C here. But my teammates are massively down on cap. I got A. You guys got to do something about C. Oh, no. This is not good for us. Oh, this is so not good for us. The caps. No. I should have rotated out sooner. You know what? Good play in the 1-2-1 one one getting cap there. Even though I managed to clear out the side pretty quickly and everything. Um, we need someone to cap C. We need some of the Cap C right, right now, if at all possible. It's too risky. I'm glad I didn't poke that. Ooh, that was close. I might have to rotate for C myself. Our standard B is not doing it. Okay, I'll have to make that rotation myself then. There's no hope. If we, if I don't hop into C, it is Jover. Unless someone can kill. If someone can kill the T30, then I might have enough time to get the C safely. Okay, good shot there by our dude. No, standard B, you silly man. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm going to be fast enough. No, I don't think I'm fast enough to get to the cap. I don't, I think it's Jover. It's all Jover. Yep. Wow, standard B really throwing that there, man. What is silly standard B? He just had to stay alive and stay back and we would have won because I would have had time to get onto the cap. But now nah, we lost like 60 cap points or like 40, 30, 40 cap points to them. 30 minus us. Um when he died there. You silly man! Standard B. Why you have to go get yourself killed? Anyways, we did 4k damage there. And we we actually would have won that if uh, it wasn't Supremacy or if our Standard B had just not thrown his tank away for absolutely no reason. Like, bruh. Bruh, I need you to hide. You're a one shot. Let me get the caps. <laughs> uh, T6 raised turret. Looks like you, you're for it. No, what are you? What are you smoking, Maria? Yeah, you're not even in California. Shaking my head. One to one without tungsten. <laughs> Maybe the one to one already used his tungsten earlier when he was sniping across. That might be why. I am a proc 65 grand 62A purely due to the fact that without camo, the cigarette looks like it's made out of potatoes. Eh? So that makes the proc better than a 62A? It's kind of hard to compare a proc to a 62A. They're like completely separate vehicles in terms of playstyle. If I asked, did you know that there is a Himmelsdorf map you're making the map look sick? Yes, I have seen it. It looks very interesting. I am pretty excited about there being a hill portion on Himmelsdorf that we can finally go to. So I'm not forced to sit there staring at heavy tanks all day long. I'm, I'm still somewhat semi-molded about last game. If our standard B had literally just not thrown his tank away, I could have killed the T30 on C cap and recap C and given our team a chance to win. But my man's just had to yellow in as a one-shot. Shaking my head. 
Oh, hello, Mr. One Two One. One dollar yes, and ninety nine cents from Narclay. Thank you, Narclay. What do you think is the most influential tier X? What do you think is the most influential tier X? Man, that is not an easy decision to make, to be honest. Are these the same T30s here? Um, this probably would be one of the heavies. It's just a guess. Dang it. Here's where one degree of gun depression is painful. That minus one degree of gun depression is very noticeable in this type of engagement here. Um, but on the good news, I do have a crown wagon for support. So, that is a W. Uh, on the, on the not-so-good side, my allies are kind of getting in the way just a little bit here. And my accuracy is not going to be the best. Um, hmm, what would be the most influential tier X? Probably one of the heavies. I just don't know which one. There we go. Let's put a shot into this one here. Okay, we're fine on the rear for now. For the, for the time being, our rear is safe. Oh, oof, as they say, never compliment the gun of a tank. To be fair, these are pretty small snapshots I'm going for here. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. I don't want us to get flanked. Um, our Kron STB and V4 should be able to hold for now. I would like to start dealing with this VK-72 if at all possible. The VK is finally starting to fall back just a little bit as well here. Hello, Mr. Mr. VK. Hello. See if I can pressure them back a little bit. Oh, Mr. VK just shot. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, that's not so nice. Rammer 62A penetration is not going to be the greatest. That's for sure. You can see the VK's armor profile just going insane. Um, Let's see. What do I got to do? Got to keep helping my team out here. I think we're in an okay positioning. The E5 is getting farmed out. The VK is being forced back. We have a decent amount of crossfires here, I think. Yeah, we should, we should, we should be, for the most part, pretty good here. This penetration is not doing so well. Might be worth running calibrated sometimes. But usually I go for DPM as it's a little bit more long-term reliable. <laughs> Especially um, if you can force your enemy team into a crossfire or something. Then that DPM is really nice to have. Let me go. But let me just go back and clear this AMX 30 Proto. Hello, good sir. Here's where DPM is going to be nice. Let me give you a little love tap as well, good sir. There we go. And we'll clear him out. You know what the 62A right now reminds me of? It reminds me a whole lot of the old school Object 140. That's the best way I would describe it. Uh, but with a with a heavier hitting gun, obviously. But for the most part, when I think of this tank, it's like, oh yeah, that's just plays just like a, how the 140 used to play back in the day. Not cool, brother. Alright, let's pick up a player on this dude. V4 is about to nuke him as well. Oh, my buddy got absolutely violated. I didn't do much damage there. I was more on just flank control. Which isn't bad. Um, but in terms of my damage farm, not the best. <laughs> Get that extra 70 damage in, boys. Oh, I rammed him into the motion. W. <laughs> uh, most infantry tier X. Hmm. What is a tank that you, like, you just see? And you're just like, oh. That's an influential tier X, in my opinion. That is an influential tier X. Good job to our crowd in the corner there. Um, Vashat the on. Batcha is influential, but it requires, like, the right player to make it influential. Let's be honest, most Batcha players are eh, hit or miss. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's hard to say, because I think a lot of the tier 10s are very influential right now. A lot of them are very good. Uh, and, the, and tier X, for the most part, balance-wise, is in a pretty good state. Um, how about the VK-72? Yeah, no. I, once again, VKs, I love the VK, don't get me wrong, but I don't find it to be, like, a... Maybe like a, a super influential tank, per se. Um, <clears throat> Fatty, what do you think about the new matchmaker? So far, I'm going to be honest, so far this stream, it hasn't felt much different than my typical random pub experience. Uh, recently, that is. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to wait until I can play it for a much longer period of time before I can form a proper opinion on it. And wow! That was unfortunate. From Are you it's telling me I got hatch sniped there? Okay, I need to stop talking and chat. Pay attention to what I'm actually doing here. Ah, oh, I turned my auto aim off. That's weird. Okay. Why don't you poke me, dude? Why don't you poke me, yeah? Come on, why don't you poke me? Okay, I'm surprised the T30... I don't even know where the T30 hit my tank. It would have been the side of my turret, not the front of my hall. Did they both just so happen to hit my hatch? Nice one, 30B. All right, we can still we can still repair this game. Lower HP just means you have to play a little bit more skilled, you know. That's all it means. Nothing big. Ah, right, you don't want to poke. 
You don't want to poke the big bad 62A. Let's hold down. Oh, I mean, he's trying to poke. I give him, I give him respect for that. Ooh, is that a, is that a wild tortoise I see? Hello. Good sir. Would you like to continue the process of poking me? Oh, okay, T30. Chill, dog. Chill out just for a moment there, buddy. Put another shot into you. Yeah, that's right. Okay, 1200 damage so far. We have not thrown the game yet. Make that 1700 damage. Ha ha. $1.99 from Narkly. Spending dollar to ruin fatness games pro game a moon. <laughs> oh, Narkly, thanks for the donation. Maybe it is the pro gamer move. But is my game ruined? I'm already at 2.4k damage so far. I feel I've done okay so far this battle. You know what? Respect to their TDs. Their TDs were mad aggressive this game. That's pretty uncommon. I gotta give credit there. Um, 2.7k damage dealt. Once again, you know, you get the 62 haul down. Oof, this tank is still just an absolute monster. All right. Now, that is a very interesting play, sir. I don't know if I would recommend that gameplay, sir. Both T30s have rotated out. Tortoise has rotated out as well. Let's pick up a kill on this dude real quick. I was looking at the minimap for a second. Didn't even notice the 30B was still still sitting there poking that corner. All right. Boom, another shot to this man's here. Let's pick up another kill here. I am on the... Oh, wait. Can we get like three kills in a row? Oh, I wanted the three kills in a row. All right. Another track shot to this man's here. Managed to bait him a little bit. Good stuff. Another shot. Nice. 413. And that puts me at 3.6k damage so far. Kill. Nice. Four kills for me. Well, 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 well. If I say so to myself, this game was not at all bad. 4,000 damage dealt, and even though the beginning was a bit diabolical, managed to make a nice little comeback with the good old-fashioned hold on 62A. You can see I got penned through my hatch there. <laughs> I think the T30 penned my hatch. I don't know where else the T30 could have penned me, man. I wasn't giving up my whole side or anything. I only gave him the front of my hull and the side of my turret. And there was no hit marker on the side of my turret, so... I don't know, man. But yeah, 4k damage there. Once again, pretty solid experience in the 62A. I just really like this thing's gun. I mean, what, what can I say? This gun is just mwah, very nice. <laughs> hey, Russian Disaster, by the way. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. I think Rash should consider LT and MT as one tank type and put equal number of mobile tanks in the game. I think generally it does. Generally. It's not always equal, though. But, you know, I think usually they kind of cluster them together. Can't say for sure, though, so don't take my word for it. D60 will always be strong. Except for when the 62A was old. Back in the day, the 62A was just kind of like, eh, you know, good gun. It was sluggish and slow. Five degrees of gun depression. Heat spam just destroyed its turret armor. Everything shot heat. Yeah, early day 62A was just kind of whatever. Okay, I'm kind of actually going to go town side a bit here. Uh, but now I, now I actually, yeah, I've really liked how Wargaming changed the 62A. Um, make, giving it a much more distinctive play style than it's just hold out bed. And... It's been quite pleasant since, in my opinion. All right, let's see if we can hit. Early Forty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents from Russian disaster. Russian disaster! Thank you so you, much for the donation. Cool How are you, bro? Thank you, Russian disaster. I'm doing pretty well. Just been a little bit busy and uh, had a bit of a cough for a while. Okay, who who pokes like that? Silly man. Uh, I had a bit of a cough for a while there, which was uh, the reason I haven't streamed in a hot minute. But doing better now, so thank you very much. Do appreciate $1 the and donation as always. From Narkly, MM should always match no camo T54E1 against STB1. <laughs> yes, yes, that that is the play, my dude. That is the play. Okay, I, if I'm gonna make that pop shot, I need to turn the auto aim off. We already lost one guy. Like that's just sad. That is just big sad here. Uh, they have tanks on B as well. We are at least haul down here. Let's put a quick shot to this grill. STB is flanking around, so we'll have to watch out for him. Just gonna call him out to my allies for the time being. 23 just fired. Nope, sadly that one didn't go in. And oh boy, that's a very aggressive looking U100 over here. U100 just fired as well. Let's see, this is not looking good for my team here, guys. The reason being is we're about to get flanked. Oh! Oh, it's the, it's the classic, the classic. Yes. Even with skill-based matchmaker, we still get the spawn sniping German super heavy. W, German super heavy. W, German super heavy. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, he's going to have to hold off that flank because uh, the boy's a bit busy over here for the time being. Gotta kind of pressure out this th these heavy tanks back here, while also keeping an eye out for Mr. Grill. 
Nice one, E4. Hmm, maybe I should go back and defend our spawn, actually. Our type is getting... <laughs> is getting ratted on over here. Yeah, uh, you wondered. You need to back up there, too, buddy. You can't just sit there all game. Alright, quick shot into this one to one here. Very nice. Let's see, is there any chance I can rotate out safely? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna see if I can do it. I'm gonna see if I can go for this STB one over here who is who is kind of getting pushed on by A100. Alright, one shot into the STB here. And let's make him a one shot with a ram. There we go. Maybe we can make it a little harder for my E100 buddy to die. Alright. One to one rotated out. Nice. So that was the right rotation back. Let's see if we can, uh we don't have the HP. It could be me and a Minorato over here, basically. Versus who knows how many tanks. Versus all of them. And th their team still has a Minorato over here as well. Ah that was dumb. I didn't realize that rock was there. Oh silly, me and I used the wrong repair kit too. Alright, me and the Minorato are holding here for now. Quick shot to this Minerato. Minerato, please don't stay in the open too long there, dude. You will get farmed. And that's not good for me and you. The Sheridan's my main concern right now. I don't know which way he's gonna come from, so that's why I'm a little bit worried about him. Okay, there he is. Hello, Mr. Sheridan. How'd you like to play this out, buddy? Whoop, not today, buddy. Okay. Well, this is going to look very bizarre in a moment here. Okay, Sheridan's a one shot. One to one is starting to pressure in. One to Minerato, Minerato, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing here, buddy? I don't care if I take a shot here, I gotta keep this dude alive. Okay. Okay, I think I did good here. I think I did really, really good there. What a high intensity scenario to be in. One dollar and ninety-nine cents from Narkly. RNG boosters increases average that team was made some WR insane work there. I'm in a rat so it's very questionable plays against the one-to-one. -one. Let me cap the base here before I make any hardcore pressures here. Oh my lord. RG booster increase average teammate win rate by 5-10%. Thank you very much for the donation, that guy. Alright. That was like, oh, that was A plus level positioning adjustments and using shields and everything perfectly. I gotta be honest. I'm very happy with how I played that game. And I hope I get one more kill. This should be an ace very easily in the 62A. Uh, given the points I was able to accumulate. This is why I like heavy tank engagements over med side engagements. It's easier to defend. Alright. Well, 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 we got ourselves a runner. We done do got ourselves a runner here, guys. Would you look at that? Let's wait till my camo resets. We'll just hook around here. Pick ourselves up a nice kill. Piece of cake. Ugh, with the carry! Skill! Ah, всем привет. Streamov. Давно не было чего-то. Так. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> не понял. <laughs> no, pri Alright, 5,600 damage, ace tanker, 187,000 credits profit, because goaded. Uh, and I think I played that very well. Yeah, I, I think I think all of my rotations, they were perfect. And fortunately, the enemy player is actually, yeah, for, uh, for a skill-based matchmaker. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Fast to a skill for the match rank to effective W. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Other jazz play had this one dumb player in ISU. Oh yeah, yeah, wait, 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 wait. We gotta check something before we go to the next game. We got to check out E100. Oh, let's go! Ron Gun, 44% win rate. He has 9,000 games in the E100 at 42% win rate and 1,200 average damage. He averages two shots in this beast of a tank and wins on average about $1 four out of ten cents from Nice, nice target, priority target priority and multi-enemy brawl. And Thank you very much. Boom. Really do appreciate that, Nakli. Superb gameplay, my boy. I'll stay work. Thanks, J6. Do appreciate that. You're kind of cute. Ayo! Ayo! You're being sus in the chat. No sussy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, I need to turn out the cough too much here. <laughs> oh gosh, I told you I have a bit of a cough. It's better for the most part, but it was pretty bad. 
I think I show us map where it is. Yeah, that that was a that was an that was an A plus game in my opinion. I think I played that battle pretty perfectly, except kind of off the bat when I got bonked by someone. Uh, was it the girl that bonked me? I don't remember. I think I got bonked by someone right off the bat. That was kind of silly. Uh, but the late game, the the late game plays were I think really well executed that battle. Uh, so always something to learn from, even if uh, matchmaker might not be on your side. <laughs> All right, let's see. Because we, we legitimately did have the spawn sniping at 100 on our team there. That's That was the funny part. Okay, there's the 777. He's by B. We got a standard B over here. Speaking of Bs. Hello, good sir. Let me put a shot through your hatch. He should be able to pen me unless he hits my viewport, which would be quite funny, to be honest, if he did. All right, Mr. 54 is over here. I'm wondering if there's like anything I can do about Mr. 54 at all. Mr. 54 looking at me? Oh, he is. One dollar and 99 cents from now. Let's back up a little bit Banner, here. Just sign off to preserve your Hello. voice. Low. Hello. Man, I'll just sign off to preserve your voice. Oh, aw, thank you very much, Nikolai. <laughs> All right, Mr. 60, uh, 54, let's put another shell to you here. We are, we are hitting the, uh, the ultimate, um, $99.99 oh, from J6 Rock. Good lord! Take 100 <laughs> to the face for an ex excellent taste. Smiley face. Thank you! Oh, I just got hit by the grill. Thank you so much! Rush, uh, not Russian disaster. Thank you very much, J6, for the massive dono. 100, 100 to the face for an excellent ace. That was some beautiful rhyming. Thank you very, very much, J6, as always, for the support. Good to see ya. And I uh, hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Have you tried the new matchmaker? I'm curious what your opinions might be on it. <laughs> All right, it's it's time. It is time to start working down this dude here, if at all possible. Although first, I should probably clear to 54. Okay, never mind. Not necessary. 54 has already been cleared. Um, and now we have the standard B here. Quick clear on you, good sir. That armor profile doing its job as it should. Hello, good sir. Oh, 62 gun. Yes, the 62A gun. It is not disappointing. It is not disappointing. Let's put another shot in. We know where the grill's position is. My concern is the unknown 183. So here's what we're going to do here. Um, our 26H is probably going to need some assistance here in just a moment. So I'm going to hopefully my camera reset right about now. Otherwise, I'm getting bopped up the rear. And now I'm going to rotate back to a position where I can help my allies deal with this 215B for starters. Uh, or 752. That's kind of the goal here. So 205B kind of in the open here. Let's put a shot onto his upper plate. Nice. He takes another 200 damage there. That's a, that's a W. Uh, maybe another shot to him. Not quite. And I think the 777 is not the one on B cap, if I'm not mistaken here. So we're going to have to be really careful about that. And let's not overpoke this. Although I'm pretty sure it's the 183 or grill that capped the base, as it appears it was. All right. So I put an HG shot to the grill here. It does have a spall, so no need to try an HGM really anymore. We'll just pick up a kill on him instead. <clears throat> We'll try and pick up a kill on him in set, which uh, clearly didn't work out in my favor. All right, Mr. Uh, 777. Hello, how is your day going, good sir? And uh, looks like we got ourselves here a Wild 183 from Narnia. We just took a shot. And you know what? I think it's time for Mr. Wild 183 to experience just a little bit of pain here. So, we have a few more seconds here. Let's track the 183. Then we're going to bait around behind him a little bit here. Oh, the 62 H traverse speed isn't quite as good. All right, all right, all right, all right. Nice. We managed to bait him out a little bit there. And the 777 is just yellowing in. He's dead. Bye-bye, 777. He's not dead to me. He's dead to this 268. Unless I can steal it. Oh, I stole it! Pro gameplay! <laughs> well, corner defense worked out pretty well there. Shout out to the 268 and shout out to the... Uh, Amex 3D Proto. Both of them played really well in that game there. If if they hadn't stayed alive, that game probably... Well, yeah, if that, they hadn't stayed alive, the game would have been a loss. But well played to 268 and 30 Pro. You guys both deserve help out there. Uh, zero damage players on both sides. So this time it was our Yeageru. Poor Yeageru. Um, But yeah, not a bad game. <clears throat> <clears throat> Man, I'll just sign off to receive your voice. Lol. Uh, Ayo Fat is just curious why you don't use the lookout area turning your turret all the time sounds like a pain. You would be already semi-aimed in more. Uh, I try and use it when I remember to. I'm gonna be honest, that's probably one of my um, weaknesses as a player. I, I use it early game pretty often, but when I'm in a battle, it's easier for me to just do micro sweeps to just assess what's happening. And to do that, I would have to put my hand on the lookout bar. Usually I keep my hands, my lookout hands right below the lookout bar and right above the scope button, if you can see on the screen. Um, near the adrenaline area, that's where I usually have my finger located to swipe. 
Um, and I have to like put it into a bit of a weird angle to swipe up higher. That's why I don't, uh, yeah, I'm not always the best at using it, even though I should use it more often, I know. Okay. So we have a wild SU-122-54 here, who is um, making a questionable play, I would like to say. That's, 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 that would be the nicest way of putting it. He is making a very questionable play here. And he's probably not going to be around much longer. I think we could just keep the pressure up on this dude, to be honest. He doesn't have any proper support if I'm, if I'm looking at the map correctly. All right, track maybe? Oh, we missed the track shot. We suck. Ricochet. Noise. Oh. Didn't need heat for that. But you know what? I'm going to use heat because I am a bot. That's what bots do. Anyways, let's go get ready to clear this dude out here. Nice, he's cleared out, and oh my gosh, that's where the Leo is at. Okay, so my team's gonna lose town. If they're gonna lose town. Let's help. Let's help our allies kill the 62A and Waffentrega. I do have a 54 for support here. I know the 62A is right below me somewhere. All right, the 62A just shot at me here. Woo! Oh, that was a mistake. That was a misplay on my part. Anyways, I'm I'm not trying to really deal with the waffle so much right now. Oh, this might be a misplay on my part. Did I get out of here before he reloads? Oh, we do manage to get out of here before he reloads. Nice, that's clutch. Okay, massive misplay on my part. I will admit, the waffle's now on a reload, so let's see if we can pick up a clear on him there. I don't think the waffle's gonna poke me. Very silly of me. Um, I thought he was trying to shoot the 54 instead. And now I'm pretty low hit points, but at the same time, I think we're good to win this. I think we're good to win this just by HP. I mean, the enemy team probably have a half healthy five and a half health Minotauro versus two full HP TDs. So not even half healthy five, yeah. Or uh, T57, sorry, not E5. Uh, so we'll win. I think it was the right rotation to give my team the quick clear on this side, but it kind of hurt. And I did stay overextended a little longer, so that gave the waffle a free shot on me, which was a uh, Yikers play. All right, all right, all right. Let's see, let's see. We have a wild Leo 1 pushing in over here. Oh, oh no, I thought he was going up top. I got jabated. I have been jabated by the wild Leo 1. All right, let's put a quick shot to him there. You know what? Let's show Mr. Leo One who's the boss. Yeah, that's right. I'm the I'm your boss. Okay, never mind. I'm not your boss. But you know what I am? I am a hardcore damage farmer. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no! I thought he was gonna get me more side. How silly of me. Okay, well, we should win. Should be the key word. Oh, Russia for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you very much. Oh, okay. Come on, boys. Avenge me. No. Avenge me. Yes, get it. Yeah, that's right. Good stuff. Oh, Button was gifted a membership, even though he's not here. Jadaimo. I wish what be an Xbox, LOL. Well, they have what? Xbox, like its own release, right? For, like, console. Oh, 405 farmed up a storm. Well played to him. I only did 3.3k that game. Skill issue. Skill issue. <clears throat> Shame your granddaughter excited about that. Yes, J6, congratulations on the granddaughter. Uh, that's always exciting. I'm very, very happy for you. I remember when Katsa from old school Pramro used to make videos on the T628. Gosh, you are from the olden days then. The olden days. The olden days. Like lies with the nudies. Oh, congratulations. Uh, I haven't paid attention too much to the conversation happening in chat, but congratulations to everyone that has new nieces and granddaughters and nephews and grandsons or whatever. <laughs> That's what I, uh, that's, that's what I can see my siblings since we are busy at, at, uh, at all times too. Ah, it's nice to be able to see the siblings. That's true. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Intuition's telling me if I want to lose, I go A side because A side from the spawn, big sock. Um, if my team is capable of making a play through quickly through town or at least holding spawn, we might be able to do something here. I'm going to spot the river through this crossing. We do see an enemy 62A doing the same thing. He probably didn't spot me. So let's spot their heavies up next. Okay, there's the T60. There's the 54. That's good to know. We know where the TDs will likely be as well. Um, the 54 making some quite aggressive plays over here. And there's the 60TP as well. Okay, there's the XM. Nice. So the enemy team not really playing for A as hardcore as they could have. That's good news. That's actually very good news for us. Just make sure I'm not getting my side to anyone. I'm just going to sit on cap for now, because yeah, what, what else am I to do here other than sit on cap? We know where the SU is. Oh my goodness, that's a 60 TP. Let's put a quick shot on him. 
Very nice. Very saucy indeed, if I say so myself. We have a wild 260 pulling up, quite aggro here, and unfortunate ricochet. Now, our spawn will definitely be a bit of a problem here. As you can see, the enemy 62A already trying to make a move up on me, um, and I would like to prevent that from happening. So, to do that, I gotta make this highly risky crossing. Maybe I'll get nuked in the side, maybe I won't. Looks like I was lucky this time and I didn't get nuked, and I'm gonna go back and defend our spawn just a bit. Because the moment you lose your spawn, this game is just over. Uh, and as you can see, the enemy team already have a pretty strong presence in our spawn. So I'm here on a... Oh, oh my gosh. I was looking to make sure the 260 have crossfires. I didn't even see the XM. I'm just here to make sure my teammates do not throw or spawn completely. Oh, okay. Come on, guys. I'm keeping the 62A and the XM off of y'all. You'd be getting mega farmed out right now if it wasn't for my positioning here. At least keep this rat 260 down. Like, for goodness sake, man. Oh my goodness, my allies. Okay, I'm gonna have to fall back even further then. This might be a... You know what? That's actually probably a bad crossing. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna risk it. Yeah. Too many crossfires. As long as the 260 isn't allowed to sit there and keep poking me. Our heavies are being kind of meh right now. This is why this is one of the worst maps to be stuck on this spawn. By the way, this reason here. It's so hard to make a comeback once your team has lost A. And it's really hard to hold A. We will see. We might be able to make a play here. We do pick up a kill. Uh, but we have also lost an ally in the process. That's a rip. The 260 pushing down low. Interesting decision. Let's see if I can help our 25B now. Because they're still not going to pressure in here too much, I think. Alright, quick shot to this STB here. Let's pull back a little bit. Nice. Unfortunately, that STB is going to be covering the 260 here. But I would like to start shooting the 260 if at all possible. Okay, that was a bit of a skill issue shot there. I gotta keep the, six, the pressure up on the 62A here. The t on 60, uh, object 260, I mean, not 62A. Alright, quick shot to you as well. 25B, I'm believing in you here now. This is all you, buddy. This is all you. All you, my dude. Because I got an XM to deal with now. Not just any old XM. This is the XM. Okay. So I don't have much in terms of ally support here. So let's see if we can make a bit of a retreat. We might take a shot from Mr. XM here. Not the end of the world. My goal is just to get safe once again. Hopefully put me in a position where I can deal with Mr. XM as well. I should out reload Mr. XM if he does try and push up on me here a little bit. Wow, that's unfortunate. This is a very sweaty game. I'm practically playing comp here. shot there. It's going to be me versus everyone soon on this side. Or me versus XM slash 62A over here. Yeah. Five Swiss francs I think this game Bart is Jover, guys. Weeks. I think this game Any is Jover. The yeah, there's not much for me to do here. Lots of crying on Seems likely 60WR plus mostly affected. Alrighty. Well, let's see. I don't really care. I'm gonna- I'm not winning this. Yeah, yeah, my allies fell into the trap. They didn't push through, uh, mid properly, and they didn't try and hold A properly. Not that you can't even hold A there. So, I'm not super surprised that game was lost. I mean, our team could have done a lot worse there. Oh, boy. Yeah, okay. Wait, the, the CC did zero? Oh, the object did zero, too, and our 26. Oh, I didn't even know we had a 26. They did two shots. Yeah. That was kind of a rip. Yeah, but that was more based off of just having the wrong spawn. I hate to say it, man. We're giving you... Y'all need to really rebalance vineyards. There's no way one spawn should be able to push all the way through A and just sit there uncontested and haul down positions that are almost impossible to get them out of without, like, a, com a, a combined team push. And you can't do that on the other spawn. So, like, oh, I just hate... I hate that map for that reason. On that spawn, at least. Any, any thoughts on the new matching? Lots of crying on YouTube. Seems like 6 when I mostly affected. Thank you, Bart, for the donation. As I, I've kind of given my opinions mostly. Um, and my opinion has been fairly neutral. I would say <laughs> that I'm, I'm not like the happiest about it. But also, I don't think people have really seen me complain about it yet either. But once again, I'm not going to form like a solid opinion on it. And so I've played like 100 solid games in the matchmaker. Because I feel that like... And too early of an opinion before seeing what it's fully like could just be very easily like, oh, it's terrible or it doesn't matter. So I just want to take my time before I make those opinions, if that makes sense. But for the most part, it hasn't felt 
like the worst experience in the world, I would say. Wow, that was a that was a pretty saucy shot if I say so myself. All right, we even have a wild Jaegeru over here. So, given the wild Jaegeru's position, given the 62A's position, given our IS Force position, the best play we can make right now collectively as a team would be to counter push the 62A out. I hope this uh, 62A does assist me. Oh, he's from Triari. All right, well, we, we will see. All right, quick shot to this dude here. Let's try and angle it up a little bit just to bait some shots out of him. Can't quite HE it. Oh my gosh, the 62A sides get buffed or am I tripping? I don't remember the sides ever being that good, man, dudes. Ugh. Okay, hopefully our 62A can clear him out there. Nice. That's a very good clean clear. And we got another 62A here. Let's put a quick shot onto him there as well. And he's not doing so well in the HP department, so that's that's good news for me. Dang, that armor profile was actually insane on the front. Okay. So, the JKR platoon, which is going to be a very solid platoon probably, are kind of hardcore pressuring the other side here. My goal right now is to get help assist our IS-4, and the first step I can do in doing that is by putting the enemy team into a bit of a crossfire here. So, we start by crossfiring out the 62A here. Um, let's see, maybe a shot into the hatch. Not quite. Yag shoots HG at me. Interesting decision, considering his HP is pretty low. And the gun is trolling me. That's, that's, that's great. That's great. Oh my gosh, my allies are all dead. They're all dead. They are all dead. All right, quick clear. Nice, high roll clear. All right, so here's gonna be the problem here. We have this um, this platoon, JKR platoon, pulling up behind us. Yep, and one of them includes a VK-72, which is not good for me. That is very much not good for me. So I can drag the VK out at least. Oh no, our 62A might have overcommitted here. You might have overcommitted just a little bit over there. They still have another heavy too, man. This is not this is not looking good for your boy. This is very much not looking good for your boy. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh boy. This is not looking good for us, laddies. Okay, they still have a chief to mark six somewhere around here as well. Who I would presume is pulling up behind me. Yep, he is indeed pulling up behind me. Hoi, 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 hoi. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna kind of push around this man's here. And this is where we accept our fate and die, basically. Unless we have to bait this dude a little bit. Not quite. Did the best I could there. They did have a sweaty JKR platoon, so I'm not too surprised by the result. My allies in town got yeeted. Even though we did a good job clearing up med side, our heavy tank side just kind of fell apart. Um, unfortunately, GG to the 62A as well. But yeah, I see. Uh, our, oh boy, our platoon of heavy tanks did bottom damage. That's that's all it takes. Like uh, the Chieftain doing zero on the 60GP to a two shots was a F in the chat. 4.5k damage almost there, but not the worst game. Not the worst game in the world. Um, and honestly, is if those heavy tanks that were 50 percenters and both did bottom damage had actually just stayed alive a little longer, we probably would have won that pretty easily. But I think they probably just overextended when they should have been a little more passive. Especially when the enemy team has a VK-72 and a VK-90. A 60 TP and a, um, a Chief to Mark 6 should not be aggressive in that scenario. You gotta be a little bit more passive because they, they have way better town holding tanks than you do. And I think they were just too aggressive in town. So, unfortunately, a loss. But it was a pretty close game. It was pretty close in the end. Man, even the Chief, if the Chief had been low HP enough, maybe I could have played the long game versus the VK90. Uh, but obviously that didn't happen. Did I get spotted? No, I should not have been spotted. It's a, it's a 268. I'd be really surprised if the 268 spotted me that early. Hmm. Okay, maybe I made a bit of a boo-boo here, to be honest. I didn't think our TVP was gonna commit down there. That's why. Um, and now our TVP is 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 gonna be big dead soon. There is a Yag Tiger back here. Um, oh my gosh, we gotta clear the top side out. I think our Yag Tiger is not quite AFK, but we have to clear this side out like as quickly as possible. There's only three tanks here, guys. There is only three tanks. There is no need to be passive in this type of environment. We gotta be as aggressive as possible here. So first shot out, nice. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep the pressure up on this end here as much as I can. I would prefer to not take a shot from the Yag Tiger, but 
there's nothing I can do about it. I gotta keep the pressure up, so that's precisely what I'm gonna do here. All right, I take it the 268 will probably be somewhere around this corner, and oh, sure, he hits that, yeah. Oh, huge ammo rack by one of my allies. All right, teammates, it's about time we start pushing up together now, yeah? <clears throat> Sheridan came back for me, that's cute. All right, I'll just keep holding this position here. It's a decent crossfire spot. <clears throat> and I have a decent amount of holdown cover here too if he keeps yellowing in for me. Which he might be yellowing in for me just a bit. Okay, Sheridan just fired. Sheridan got taken out. Ice Force now overextends just a little bit. Let's put a quick shell to him. I'm gonna keep the crossfires going because that's gonna be what gives my team a chance of winning this engagement here. I'm actually gonna focus out the 268 if at all possible too. Because the 268's gun's more scary to me than the IS-4. Alright, Mr. 268, another shot to you, good sir. Come on, VK, can you pick up that clear? VK, you really didn't have to rush that one, my dude. <clears throat> Alright, now we can focus Mr. IS-4 here. Nice. Another shot, another shot. Come on. Get the 268 out. There we go. Right rotations were made there. Alright, we have an SDRV above us here. I also have a 62A pushing in on behind me here, too, which is going to be a bit problematic, I think. Alright, 62A just fired. Oh, 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 Come on, a quick shot into the 62A here. Nice. I don't think that's going to be enough for me, though, to be honest. Yeah, our VK's in a terrible positioning, too. <clears throat> alright, alright, VK, just hold this, hold this, hold this. Don't, don't bleed, don't bleed, buddy. Don't bleed. I think it's Jover for us, boys. I think it's Jover for us. I think it's Jover. Oh, it's so Jover. Man, for VK and 62A, I mean, Yag Tiger had. Oh my gosh, he also picked up the kill there. Maybe I should have stopped their 62A instead of going in there. I didn't want to get soloed out by the 62A, just have him kill me behind that hill, and then my team would guarantee lose. So I thought maybe I could rotate it out. Um, 5,000 damage dealt. Did good. Uh, definitely, yep, that's some skill-based matchmaking teammates you got there with the zero damage Yag Tiger, zero damage TVP, one shot IS. One shot IS, okay, IS, come on IS7, one shot man, one shot. Um, you know what, me and the VK actually like way outperformed both of the enemy teams like top two players, but it was just, yeah. When you have two allies doing zero, basically it's five versus seven, which is why I had to do 5k. And even though that game was still pretty close in the end, it was only because I did 5,000 damage there that the game was close. Glad I decided not to go med side though. If I committed to med side, I would have been in that TVP scenario. I learned from earlier in the stream that for some weird reason, Pepega Andes love just all yoloing med side, except if they're on your team. It's always the enemy team that sends like five to six tanks into one side. Uh, and your teammates are just going to have that ready TVP wandering by himself. <laughs> um, <clears throat> every battle through 5k damage, every loss, you cannot even carry with this new matchmaking. And so it is. That's all I say, though. But here's the point. Even if, like, some of these games are not winning because my teams are pretty bad. And, you know, I did have two zeros that game, so that was pretty, pretty awful. Um, in the end, I'm still doing about the same amount of damage as I did previously. So I'm still playing at the same level. It's just not enough to overcome some of the teams that I've been dealt with. And I'm fine with that because like I said, you know, the win rate, average damage statistics are not gonna be viable anymore or at least worth 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 your time. So it's gonna be much more <clears throat> worthwhile to just focus on your average damage to be fair. I mean, still try and win as much as possible. You don't wanna run 40, 30% if you can help it, but like, yeah, I guess that's why I just don't feel too stressed about it, maybe. Because I've always been more of a damage-focused player. When possible, I've always really let, enjoyed average damage as a stat, so... Uh, anyways, my teammates are kind of all over the place. I don't know if I really want to push in here by myself without support. Um, but just don't be like that 50B who decided to yellow into an open crossfire without any support. Oh my gosh, that's not good. That was the last egg I wanted to face on this end. Why did he have to rotate out over here? That timing was terrible. My gosh. All right. Well, I guess we're not dealing with that. Let's go deal with the 57 in their spawn instead, if at all possible. Are you 100 already dead too? Okay. Well, this game is just over. This game's over, dude. Look how many healthy heavy tanks they have versus my team. Like, my team has no HP left in it. 
<clears throat> yeah, absolutely zero HP. So you know what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just farm damage if at all possible. I don't even care if there's 57 pence me at this point. I'm just waiting for him to shoot his magazine. The 83 doesn't have crossfires on me, right? I don't think so. Oh snap, that is a Sheridan. Hello, Mr. Sheridan. Nice, get the ricochet on him. Ugh. And the ram. Okay, I'm not gonna be such a Pepega Andy that I put myself in a massive crossfire with Mr. 57 here for no reason. So let's pull back from him. Nice. Sheridan should be close to a one shot now. Good stuff. Sheridan is indeed a one shot at the time being. Quick shot to this man's here. Okay, we'll just keep an eye out on how the map's progressing. You should get him E6, I think. Or I'll kill him for you. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> how are my teammates doing? Type's almost dead. 183's almost dead. That's W. 62 is pretty low. We do have a cap problem here, so I might have to deal with caps first. Uh, and then worry about picking up some of these kills later. Oh my gosh, what a silly mistake on my part. I could have picked up an easy clear there. Alright, I think the VK should still be on reload for a moment longer here. So let's put another Shondo in there. Nice. Um, I'll see if there's anything I can do about this type here. My teammates are getting crossfired out, that's why. That's not good for us. Alright, aim. Nice. And can y'all stay alive just a little bit longer? Oh, it's just me in the E6 at this point. Oh, not even me in the E6. Okay. Well, this is over. I don't have the HP. Um, if our 50B, who is from Mystic, I guess, does not YOLO into open when it's very obvious their team's gonna have a massive crossfire that we might have had a chance of winning this. Uh, that 50B's gameplay decisions there kind of cost us the battle, I think. So that's a, that's a lovely rip and a half. <clears throat> a rip and a half. That's one way to put it, yeah. Anyways, yeah. Unless I get super lucky against the super bomb career, I don't really see me winning this, to be honest. Woo! 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 <clears throat> yeah, as I figured. Oh, please don't hash me. No, of course he tracks me, you rat. I actually could have won that. Both of those dudes were pretty terrible. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> um, Mystic Platoon. What the heck was that, my dudes? What the heck was that? 183, shout out to you. This uh, 56 percenter, uh, this 50B, oh boy. Uh, the E6 did four shots. Oh, it's a reroll too. How do I get a reroll? Oh, because he's platooning, so he doesn't get the trash matchmaker. Four shot reroll, zero damage platoon mate. Um, yeah, wow. <laughs> the enemy's 40% platoon collectively did better. Uh, interesting. Well, me and the 183 with 10k combined. My platoon heavy tank platoon just was terrible that game. I don't know what that was. I don't, uh... I'm, uh, I'm a little disappointed in that. But once again, that was a win stolen away by a couple of silly players off the bat. Like, dude, what was our 50B doing? Dude yellows down the middle of a bridge where the enemy team has like five to six tanks unspotted at the entrance of park. It just instantly evaporated. Like, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, you know, as, as you can see, you know what's interesting is at the start, I actually was winning a lot. And I think the matchmaking calibrated and it's just like, you shall not win anymore. And uh, I have been losing consecutively and doing 5,000 damage every single loss. So like, you know what? Boy's still able to farm damage. It's not the end of the world for the most part. I think I played those, you know, these last few games as best I could. Um, and the 62A certainly has been performing well. I will give all of the credit the 62A deserves. Did he spot me there? No, but maybe he did. Oh, he definitely is a problem. Okay, let's back down from here. The 5A and the 205B, not so cool to deal with. Okay. Oh, is that the same platoon? Nope, it's another Mystic player. Gosh, they they are like uh, they are like rodents. They are all over the place. Anyways, I don't want to completely give up med side. Because that's, that's the number one way to lose the game. I would love to support my heavies more. But, with an unspotted Leo and it's 62A, all it takes is a few seconds for me to just get absolutely annihilated on this side. So I want to take it a little bit easy 
The problem is, is even if the 63 and Leo solo YOLO me here, I don't have any kind of support. Except for a 183 that's practically dead. Really? He spots me from the... And he hits the lower plate without even aiming. He spots me through that bush? What are your bush mechanics, Wargaming? My tank is literally completely behind it, even from his angle. Okay, that's just dumb. At least I'm keeping the 62A somewhat occupied, which was the plan, at least. The problem's gonna be the Leo, though. If the Leo and 62A both push up together, that is very problematic indeed. All right, all right, all right, all right. 183, could use your assistance right about now, buddy. Use your assistance right about now. Could really use your assistance right about now, buddy. 550 max roll is kind of nice. Okay. Come on, teammates. Anyone. A little bit of support would go a long way. Oh, of course he hits my ammo rack. Silly. Silly lucky man. It's Jover. Yeah, there's not much I can do there. Literally one versus two. Almost half the HP off the 62A. Full HP the Leo. Um. Oh. Thank you, 1A3. That's where you went. Instead of supporting the one ally that mattered. Oh my gosh. And what do we got here? We got our full HP E4, who is like... I don't know, my, my team went into their spawn. Nice shot by the 62A. We could win this. We could. As long as our 1A3 doesn't get himself killed right now, which he will. What is this play? Amandor <laughs> Vigar. What was that play, my dude? That was some silliness. If I Oh! STRV with the clutch clear, though. Come on, E4. Keep the 62A down. Maybe we have a chance here. Oh, no, no. He, uh... Buddy is not binking. Buddy is not binking. Oh, my gosh. They're all blind. Oh my goodness, the E4 dropped down to... Okay, this is over. 60 GP, just turn and kill the 62A. The Yag is... You're wasting your time because a Yag, that's going to take you four or more shots to clear. <gasps> he could have just turned around, used the rock as a shield and ran away. Oh my lordy, the Pepega Andes. There I go again. I should have just been selfish and damage farms. I could have just gone heavy side and damage farm these dudes like no, like no problem. Um, and just stayed hold on damage farm there, but I wanted to be a team player and provide my allies with some support on this side But this was like once again, I would say less of a player matchup loss And more of a tank matchup loss the fact that they got two two ten meds and all we had to defend the whole right side of the map was 162 8 which, which was me um, That kind of was what lost us the game 3,000 damage probably did better than almost every I did better than everyone there because I full healthed the Leo who, by the way, was not very intellectual. Um, 60 TP did one shot all game. The other 60 TP did 2k. Uh, this dude should have come help med side. Kind of threw by going heavy side there. And uh, yeah, well, that's to be expected. Dead rail, least favorite map in the game for a reason. I think it's an absolutely garbage map. I think if there's one map I want to lead it, it's dead rail. More so than mines. Because at least with mines, you can lose the hill and still pretty easily win the game just by holding the entrance. You know, but, but with dead rail, man, you lose med site, it's like impossible to win 90% of the time. It's so rat. Oh. <laughs> Is a new matchmaker permit? Sucks up 61% getting terrible players? Yeah. Uh, imagine, imagine being a consistent 70%er. That, that's, that's when life just gets really unpleasant. Uh, but, you know, like even that last game wasn't the worst case scenario. I was really hoping that 183 would at least cover me because like, I looked back, he was there, and I looked back again and he was just gone. I'm like, huh? What is man's doing, you know? Sheridan being super aggro here. 62A and 121B also pushing up quite aggressively. And that's an IS-4 as well. And that is my cue to get the heck out of here. I might take a shot or two. But we are not winning this med side. I will tell you that, my dudes. We are not winning this med side. Oh, of course he hits my track. Very intentionally, he hit my track. As you can see, he was clearly aiming for it. Look at all the... Oh, dude, what is with players actually hitting the track without meaning to? This is nonsense. Oh, my armor's going galore. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I should have known that was going to happen. Dude, these dudes are still sitting in town. 
The enemy team YOLO 7 tanks through there. Of course, they have a JKR platoon again. Although they're sure to got himself Angel. killed right off the bat. And the one to one's playing Mac like a very silly. I don't know, maybe JKR's player standards fell down. Because <laughs> these don't seem like 70% players when I'm watching. Oh my lordy. Well, that this game's over. Outplayed by matchmaking, basically. This pay to watch my dude. Oh, hey, Angel. <laughs> Angel, how's it going? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. T T22 got PBR. Let's take, let's take the T22 for a game. Uh, hey, Angel. Yeah, it's pretty painful. I think we lost like three 5,000 damage games in a row the 62A not too long ago. Uh, and the last two games, once again, uh, the Dead Rail matchup was just bad. That matchup, my teammates should not have overcommitted there. L S D B is, is a JKR player. Oh, is it the SDB? Uh, no. I'm going to take the T22 for a spin real quick. I don't like the T22, and to be honest, I never really have. Um, so I'm just going to take it for a game. Nah, like, here's, here's the thing that I need to remember and adjust to. I need to be an absolute coward. Uh, thank you, by the way, Angel, for the $2 donation. Um, I need to be an absolute coward in these matchups. Because you're just going to have one team of like 50, 60, 70 percent players that are all working together and all YOLOing one side together. And then you're just going to have like a team of 40 percenters wandering in every corner of the map. And so the key is to not overextend, take things a little bit slower, let your allies just soak up the damage and, 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 be, and take the L. And you just sit back and farm. That's all. That, that is going to be the new good player meta because I think I've been a little too aggressive trying to support my mediums directly like I usually would. That's just not working out for me. That just really is not working out for me. Because as you can see, there's always one team that has like, you can see this team right now, they're already split up everywhere. The enemy team, the majority of their players are all on one corner right now, which is the med side. And we only have this one two, one b here. So I'm going to rotate out with the VK and the BZ. Go for a bit, bit more middle control here. We might eventually counter pressure the enemy team's spawn. Although I do have to watch out for tanks like this T22 here. And um, we'll have to watch out for RNG also, because when RNG don't want to work, Sag, there we go, quick shot to this dude. Yeah, I, for I, I always forget that the T22's traverse speed got kind of destroyed. Doesn't feel the best, not gonna lie. I need to remember to run the traverse equipment, because this ain't it, Chief. This this traverse speed here ain't it. Okay, let's back up a little bit and relocate even more. I don't think we're gonna win the med side. I don't have the gun depression to even work there. It's five degrees, it's pretty rat. So let's see if I can assist my mediums and heavies a little bit more directly here. Right, let's wait for the STV to pull down so he doesn't spot me, hopefully. Or if he does, I have some time to cross here. And there we go, we did find our time to cross. I'm actually going to start pressuring the grill and stuff just a little bit. I think that's going to give my team a bit more of an advantage if we can clear out this right side of the map here as quickly as possible. All right. Yeah. And then hold down, t hold down, t uh, hold down. T22 should be impenetrable. We are chilling. Yep. All right. Let's pick up a clear out this dude. Oh, this poor dude. He's he's clearly not the best of the game. I think. I think he has a 15 second reload. So I should have time for one more shot. Let's pull back a little bit. Hey there, good sir. Pick up a clear on him. Good shot HE there, but risk it for the biscuit. Meanwhile, my allies have been getting absolutely wrecked in the uh, in spawn, which is not too much of a surprise. That's why I didn't even choose to fight there. I just knew it was going to be a bit of a rat fest uh, on that side. So, the best thing I can do now, I think, is just to counter push this uh, Sheridan out. He's going to keep spotting us up. If he hasn't ran away already. If he ran away, then I'm not going to chase. That's a bad idea. Let's hope he's silly and didn't run away, but I think he would have ran away. Yes, he did. Okay. So it's me and the BZ. The VK's in the middle. I think the worst thing we could do right now is overcommit to this side of the map. So I'm going to pull back actually just a hair. We can let the enemy team overextend onto us and that'd be a lot better. Actually, it might even be better for me to rotate out for the T22. Or I mean, STB. Because the Sheridan's going to be flanking for our VK as well. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Please, 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 please don't pen that. Oh, you biggie. You absolute biggie. Oh my gosh. And the grill too. Oh my gosh. What a poor rotation on my part. Well, I'm dead. I'm dead. My driver is out. Yep. Oh my gosh. Their whole team's just sitting in mid. I thought they were all rotating back. I literally could have just killed this chieftain then. For free, basically. Look at this chieftain. All right. Allies are doing fantastical. Fantasy 34 tune win. I'm not tuning. 
I'm not tuning with these players. <laughs> not, 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 not right now. If I'm tuning, it's only going to be with the top rain players. Yeah, that looks about right for newbie matchmaking. You know, it's funny though. It's like uh, initially on the stream, we did pretty well. And then boom, look at that. Games you just cannot change. That, not newbie matchmaking. That is what skill-based matchmaker looks like. Bro, it's been one to four. It hasn't been three minutes yet. All right, yeah. That's just how it is. Like I said, all that, all that, all that I'm gonna care about now is damage. I'm just gonna like completely forget about winning games because at the moment, the better you are at the game, the more they, it's just gonna suck for you if you try and win. If you're a 42 percenter and you're trying to win the 50 percent, this is a blessing, absolute blessing for you. Uh, if you're a 70 percenter and you're still trying to win at 70 to 80 <laughs> percent, good luck with that. Games you just absolutely cannot do anything about. Wow, I have not seen Captain Stingham in a long time. He used to be a notorious stream sniper. I don't know if he still is. Uh, but he has pulled back from this location, so that's good news for us. But he has not completely ran away, which makes me think he does have some support. But you know what? I'll let her Leo spot him up. What the heck is that? What in the tarnation is that? Alright, let's track this. Let's track this little piggy here. Not really sure what this little piggy is up to. Let's track him again. There you go. You got him, Leo? Nice. Alright. One little piggy down. Now that I've lost like five games in a row, can Matchmaker like actually give me better teams? Because, you know, my current win rate is so low. It should. At least I think it should, right? It should give you better, better teams once you've lost five games in a row. That, that would only make sense. But then again, this might not be making sense because I've been doing like 5k damage every game. I don't know if that's enough to uh, bump the current uh, set of teams I've been getting. We'll see. Okay, I can't really do anything about that. I'm going to go for cap first. I'll, I'll worry about pressuring later. Sheridan's a one shot. 60 TB's one shot. This game should be win. Already won, basically. I'm just going to take the caps as a precaution. My only concern now is going to be how I'm going to farm as much damage as possible later on. I don't really care about anything else. So let's see. Yeah, this game should be won based on positioning alone, if nothing else. Well, that's a bit unfortunate, Mr. Leo. You just had to go and get yourself get yourself dunked on, didn't you? Should still watch out for the grill as well. And the M48 pattern that's somewhere back in their spawn. That could also be problematic. Keep farming up this grill as much as we can right now while the E3 is in Narnia. Nice, yeah, this is this is working in my favor for sure. Hello, Mr. E3, let's track you as well. E3 is now tracked in the open. There's not a whole lot for him to do here. Woo! Hello, Mr. E3. Bye bye, Mr. E3. And now we have a patent to deal with. Hello, Mr. Patton as well. Good, good. 4k damage dealt already. Where's the object at? Oh, the object's still in A, but he's one shot. Yeah, who cares about him? He's one shot. Let's go farm up some damage last minute here before it's Jover. <laughs> Let's see. Which way do we think the pad's going to be waiting for me? Oh, he's going to be poking the exact same position. My man! Very kind of you. No! Not so kind of you. Hello, good sir. Would you like to play a game of I track you, you bounce off of me because 62 weight armor goes burr. Oh, no, I should have just yoloed him, sir. He's about to get absolutely bopped by a 60 TP now. <gasps> Yo, this 60 TP ricocheted. Let's go. More damage for me. 5k. Piece of cake. Absolute piece of cake gameplay. All right. All yours, 60 TP. Or Yak. Nice. We won. We won, boys. <laughs> Gosh. The cop's coming back. Hour and 40 minutes. I won't even blank for an hour and 40. Ah, that's another ace. Okay. My gosh. 5.5k damage. Um, yeah. Well, it looks like that time the enemy team was worse. <laughs> I've been grinding to 60% and was at 59.7%. Feels bad, man. 
<laughs> Juicy quit at the right time. I know. I was so sad to see. I saw that Juicy had stopped uh, stopped Blitz related content. That's that's kind of a shame. Apparently not because of the game itself, but he just was uh, he just needed a break and focus on other parts of life. I totally get that. That's why sometimes I'm gone for weeks at a time. So if you lose five battles, that don't mean you get better teams. Yeah, I don't think so. Because like one thing that Wargaming took into calculation for this matchmaker is how much damage you're averaging and like kills, spots, you know, that type of stuff. It's not purely win rate based. It's your overall performance based. So you can lose like every game and do like 5k damage and Wash could probably still think you're too good and keep putting you, pitting you against the, well, giving you the worst teammates possible, basically. Um, I don't know if that's 100% how it works, but it does appear to be that way. Otherwise, I would not have lost six games in a row there. And I wouldn't say necessarily did terrible in most of those games. It was just two dollars from Tim K. Yeah, the teams are too <clears throat> passive. Too passive. It's, it's insane. insane. Tim K. Or too aggressive. Like the enemy team will just be sat in seven tanks to one side, and your your team is like everywhere. Um, the the best thing you can do right now is to be patient and just wait it out. Don't don't make don't overextend if you can help it. And as I'm saying that, I'm probably gonna overextend as per usual because I I hate being a passive player. Uh, my favorite meta was pre-heavy tank meta. That was the old medium tank meta. Oh, dude, that was a lot of fun. Nice aggressive gameplay everywhere all around the board. Now you just got to play super carefully. <coughs> Sorry, I still have a bit of a cough. I wish I didn't, but it is what it is. All right, Mr. E3. So here's what I'm going to do. Is I'm not going to stick around here for super long. Reason being, is the Grill, the E3, the VK, all these players are just waiting for a lovely opportunity to counter push me. Um, I actually see a better opportunity to farm for a much safer position, which would be Mr. Mouse here, who's really overextended. So I'm gonna go see if I can start farming Mr. Mouse here. Hopefully we can. Uh, Mr. Mouse is caught in a bit of a crossfire, so he can't even pull back in the cover properly. So yeah, that was the right rotation there. And there's probably still an E3 and a VK and stuff in this vicinity. Hello, up, up, HE spammers. Welcome to HE spammers galore. Aww. You very unpleasant man, you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just gotta pull down. Alright. Alright. Then we just gotta use our turret and a side hug here as much as possible. Also gotta watch out from behind. That grill's coming in from behind me. It's all Jover. It's all Jover. Oh, I'm getting tracked too many times. No. Oh my gosh, team. Come on. You can't have just let the grill YOLO there for free. Oh my lordy. Yep. Like I said, you you, you got to be careful not to overextend right now. Because you're always going to get counter YOLO on a med on a flank. Especially when their team has like a just a bunch of tanks holding one corner. You could have hashed that, but okay. Um, and we're back on the losing streak. I highly doubt my team is winning this. I highly, highly doubt. I can't believe they let the grill YOLO all the way through the middle like that for free. That's crazy. Uh, buddy, buddy, you're literally gonna... Oh my, oh, what am I watch? Oh, what in the tarnation? Wow, it's almost as if my team was just not gonna win from right off the bat. That's crazy. They killed a 183. And uh, the mouse that I helped farm out. Oh, oh dear, he's shooting AP at a type 71. That was an L. Very close game, guys. Very, very close game. Vash, your matchmaker is bad, I gotta say. Yeah, because I'm not trash at the game. If you're trash at the game, the matchmaker's great. <laughs> oh my lord. What was that? What was that Pepega Endy tunnel? My gosh. The grill's just like, ah, YOLO across the map. Um, oh, oh my gosh. 183 did zero. It's not even matchmaker. What on earth is that lineup? Why does my team have two 183s and a 405? Oh my gosh. Guys, stop playing trash tanks. <laughs> Fast, like my advice play ratings doesn't destroy your stats. Does it look like I even care about stats anymore? Here's the thing, and here's the hard truth about old school 4K players like me and a lot of other great old school 4K players that have quit playing the game. The. The newbie matchmaking accounts that come in and just get 4k in every single tier 10. They're, they're just mid players. They're like maybe a 3k player. They're getting 4k tanks stats on all their tier 10s and stuff because they play, you know, they buy their way to tier 10, they play game modes, and then they they just play against trash teams and stuff like that in a separate queue. That's ruined. Like, 
I would say, you know, in a sense, that has very much ruined the value that a 4K average player, like, like what I, what used to be a massive achievement now is just so diluted with these Smurf accounts, the girl rounds, that even that feels like that stat accomplishment doesn't matter anymore. And now win rate doesn't even matter anymore because like, as we already, I think as we can already tell, it doesn't matter how good you are. If the matchmaker is, if you're too good for the matchmaker, you are going to lose a lot. Um, and it's not even really your fault. There's just nothing you can do. Like, and here's, here's the one part that's dumb about skill, like super skill based matchmaker in a team based game is you can basically have a whole team of bad players based on your average experience of one player, right? And that 177 player is gonna matter way more, but <clears throat> you put that 177 player with four 40 percenters and give the enemy team a bunch of 55 to 60% <clears throat> win rate players. And all of a sudden those, those four or five good players are way more than enough to outmatch one good player. Especially when he's, especially in a team dependent game. So I've just, I've straight up just given up on trying to worry too much about win rate at this point. And I don't think it's going to get really all that much better. I would much rather just continue to do my thing, farm damage, outplay the, outplay the Pepega Andes, and just, yeah, do it that way. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep playing as a damage farming Andy, and hopefully in the process, start winning some games here and there. And so I adjust to what's going to be the best meta with this type of uh, player base. Okay. So. Let's see, Mr. T1LT is probably not running away. Mr. Concept's not gonna be pushing in. And Mr. Type, okay. So this game is gonna be a win. That's a yay. Or at least it should be a win. So it should be a yay. Let me re-emphasize there. The Concept, oh, there's the 268. Well, I'm glad I didn't push on the Concept there. Well, 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 what do we have here? It's a wild 268. Let me put a quick shot on you, good sir. What are you doing, Mr. Type? You're ricocheting, that's what you're doing. Alright, let's get ready to start pressuring this dude. I'm gonna drop down here, we can push him from behind. What? I could have sworn that was a full pin on his hatch, but it is what it is. Oh my goodness, I'm getting baited. I'm losing my farm. Mine damage farm. Okay. Just send it for the type. This dude's probably gonna die before I can even get a kill shot on him. What do we do? Oh, they still have a 200 LT. W. W. In the chat. Oh, 413. That's nice. Oh, that's real nice. Oh, that's real nice. Oh, oh my gosh, Chief. You did not have to bump into me there. Chief, just stop driving on me. Wow, that is insane. The armor profile actually got worse with heat than AP. Like it got harder to pen with AP versus heat. That's funny. Oh my gosh, what a game. I don't think it has a little dude. Yeah, what? Mine. No, I didn't even kill him with the ram. Oh my gosh, what? I thought I would ram kill him for sure. Well, that should be a 5k dub. <clears throat> Roma has a pair of dice as its icon for a reason. It should have always remained as random matchmaking. Although I, I admittedly, I thought this new matchmaking would be good. Like I say, it, it really, it really isn't gonna be that bad if you're not above probably 60 to 65 percent win rate. If you're not above that level, you're probably gonna hardly notice a difference in the matchmaker. I'm gonna be honest. Except maybe games get a little longer and a little less one-sided. I will admit, except for a few battles, most of these games have been pretty prolonged, so that's nice. <coughs> Add fun modes for tiers 1 through 4, XD. Bro, I don't know, man. Who plays tiers 1 through 4? Who, who even plays? Oh, of course, I get the bad spawn again. I like how so far every time I play on this map, I've gotten the bad spawn. Um, I want to do everything in my power to give my team a chance to win this. Or do I damage farm? Selfish? Or win? Selfish? Or win? Selfish or win? We must make a decision, guys. Um... I'm gonna spot the crossing right off the bat. Okay. 62 Ray's already crossing. Who the heck does that spotting run? That was very silly of him. Okay, there's the Kron. So the Kron's going the ruined side. Interesting. Here's what my intuition's telling me. 
Please tell me that Mr. 62A here is gonna like try and go townside for some unknown, unbeknownst reason. I just have this this faintest feeling that Lion's actually gonna go into C cap. Anyways, we have a 907 here. Nice. That's where having one less degree of gun depression hurts for sure. Yep, and look at him. Look who's in town. Look my little piggy is in town. Just as I predicted. Let's call it. Ooh, predicted. Ah, ha, ha. Okay. Can we like counter push this biggie over here already, guys? Because <clears throat> my team is going to get wrecked on the other side here. <clears throat> and we don't want that, so. Oh, of course. Yep. And they just have a, a Pepega Andy and a mouse sitting at the back of spawn here. Actually, at this point, I'm just gonna yellow. It don't matter. This is already a loss, man. Like I said, this map literally... I don't even care. I just give up with this game. This map is literally, like, the worst balanced on one side. You cannot do anything to win A side, you see? It's so silly. <clears throat> and I don't even care. I just give up on that game. Oh, my lordy. All right, let's get the T22 another try. We were already down, like, four tanks. My goodness. That is just rat. And I don't even think I had the worst teammates ever. It's just that spawn is so dumb. Like, Wargaming, fix it already. It's just so bad. It's like, what's the point? You can't even play A, and then they always have like one or two TDs sitting up in their spawn, so you can't even push anywhere else in the map. So you're just trapped there. It's just the worst experience possible. I am, I absolutely hate Vineyards because of how unbalanced that one side is. And as for Dead Rail, that's still my least favorite map in tier 10, because that one is just way too dependent on med side for wins. Alrighty. Their team seems to be a little bit split up for now. That's good news for me. Let's see, there's a Sheridan back here. Nice play by the Sheridan. Okay, TD's in the town. Just gonna take the T22 for a spin. Ah, uh, of course. And then we got an EC Conqueror over here. Alrighty, yep. Mr. Sheridan, I think it is time. Yes, Mr. Sheridan, I think it is time. To run away from here. Look, the enemy team won't even know what happened. <laughs> They're just gonna be like, what the heck? Why is there a T-22 in our spot already? Oh, of course, they just have a flash sniping up top, though. Problem is there's still a grill back here, or a fosh back here, I think. If there's any for me to play around that. That concerns me a little bit. Also, batch ID 50 and we're coming back in for us. Oh wait, there's the fosh. Okay, okay. Here's what I gotta do now. Zarhuri is kind of overextended a little bit, but he's he's playing it out okay. Is I actually start gotta I gotta start pressuring in behind these dudes now. Nice. Doing what T22s do best. I'll see. Okay, nice. Good clear there. Let's track this dude. I'm sorry, Hover, you're gonna die, but I had to make this counter push now. Didn't have much of a choice there. Chieftain should be able to pick up a kill there. Good stuff. Conqueror kind of pushing in aggressively here. Bosh around the corner. Ooh, there's the Bash off Beyond and E50M. Hmm. Come on, boys. We just gotta work together here. Bosh fired once. Track shot. Oh my gosh, where are the rest of my allies at? Alright, Mr. Fosh. Have to track you again, good sir. And... Psych. Ah, oh, of course he HEs my engine deck. I think I did everything I could there. We were- me and the Sheridan were 1 versus 3 in Dunes, and our team took 10 years to kill town. Oh my lordy. Lordy, 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 these teams are something special, aren't they? 
Oh my goodness. 300 damage, last player to die. Chieftain, 45%. Fail tune. Oh no, yeah, I had a fail tune. Let me guess, their, their fail tune was 50 percenters, probably. Yeah, they were. Smurf account, too, it looks like. Nice meme. <coughs> God bless, curious. Oh, hi, Shock. Howdy, Shock. How you doing, buddy? God bless Blitz. The Moe, the famous statement of Moe. Oh man, Mo would be molding so hard if you had to play pubs in its current state. I say the remember to play a little more passively. My brain's already fried, man. I've already had enough tryharding in this, in, with these teams. I'm just kind of like in the mood to yellow around. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's high time I got to a, a derp tank and start destroying people. Just, j just to make their days as terrible as possible. Okay, my team is splitting in town. It's encounter two. I don't like it when this is an encounter play because you don't get any of that cap supremacy, but the enemy team split as well. We should take advantage of that and start pressuring Mr. 62 way out over here. Hello, Mr. 62 way. Made a shot out of him. Easy shot on him there. Very nice. Can't back up too much, hopefully. My allies just don't let the uh, yeah. I just need them to prevent the other Andy from poking me. Man, look how look how heavy that turret armor is. Okay, so STB is kind of rolled back a little bit. Nice. I do have a one two one for support now as well. Oh, never mind. STB is just gonna sit here and let the bat chat shoot him so he can tunnel us a little bit more, as he should. All right, my dude. What? Oh. You still haven't killed the STB! Oh my gosh, I just got racked by the 68 because S. What is this bat? And Grill. They didn't kill the STB? What? Dude, me and the 121 were absolutely gonna outplay them and kill them. If I'd have been racked there, <laughs> don't buy a 62A. Oh my lordy. The 62A racked me, man. That's Garbo. Oh, that's so rat. Bruh. <laughs> Fat is villain arc. Let's go. Bro, how does the bat shot with its 700 damage magazine not kill the two shot STB with a grill sitting in our spot to support him? That STB had nowhere to run. I was like, how did I get shot and tracked from behind? And of course, since my ammo got damaged, I got racked. Because the absolute Pepega 2 bat shot grill could not kill the STB that was a one shot. My goodness, that was uh that was a yikers moment, man. I don't even know. The enemy team sent all of their heavies to town, but everyone else went hill. Like, that was a very weird play. And the thing is, if I had not been Amaract, we would have killed that 62A. We could have avoided the Yag and flanked the Hori as as which is really easy to do. Because the Hori and Yag have terrible tourist speeds. And we actually I would have been actually I would have had a very good damage farm game there. The reason that didn't happen, though, is because a certain STB wasn't killed. Damaged my Amorak track to me, and basically is the reason I got taken out that game. So, that's just lovely, ain't it? You gonna, you gonna, you gonna stay there for another trade, my dude? That's right, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yeah, uh, 140 DPM. Man, I haven't played this position in a hot minute. It's a high, a high risk, high reward position. I have not played this spot in so long. I don't know if it was a good idea or not, and, uh... Well, of course. Of course they have a grill just sitting back there. An E100! Of course, it's an E100 that's sitting at the back of spawn. Not not the grill! It's the E100. Mm, my goodness. If that isn't more classic what blitz, I don't know what is, dude. The spawn sniping E100s are truly something else. At least I have crossfires from back here. All right, let's see. All right, this Leo Dunn made a, a, a little bit of an error here. Let's see, how's my rear looking? Rear's looking safe still. Very nice. For now, as long as that Kron doesn't get a little bit too aggro on the corner here, which I don't think he will. He'll get crossfired out if he tries that. Very good. I still prefer the 140 out of all the Soviet meds. I find its play style suits me the best with its high mobility, high DPM, and high accuracy. Um, that's just the 140 in a nutshell for you, you know? But the 62 is still quite good. Alright, let's not poke that. I'd rather not get farmed out right now if I don't have to. 
for my roommating health. Very good, very good. All right, which way is the crown looking? Okay, he should not be looking at me anymore. There's the 100. The 100 is not paying attention. Did I get my gun shoot twice there? And did I really miss that shot as well? Nice. Very, very nice. Alrighty. Gotta farm some damage here, boys. Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Big time nope. I am not giving you that for free. Oh my goodness. How did that miss? Okay, now I should not be a one shot. As long as I don't get racked or caught on fire without a fuel, a, a, a repair cache should be good. Nice. Okay, that should bring me at 3.8 and I'm happy. Get 4K maybe. Almost. Oh. Bye, Cur <laughs> I forged after the drought. See you, Curious. Thanks for dropping by. I like the music, thank you. Me too. Hope you're doing well, Mr. Chocolate. All right, all right, I'll take it. 140 for W. Okay, we need to get like one more decent game in the 62A. It's been almost two hours of uh, of gameplay in the 62A mostly, so. I actually did pretty good for the first hour, which is pretty typical, and afterwards I kind of just like bleh. Both my decision-making process uh, and gameplay usually goes downhill, which considering the matchmaker is probably not a good combo. I miss Blitz, be played AB. <laughs> Nothing to miss here. Hold on, tanks were already meta. Oh gosh, Bobby. Okay, so Bobby right now is um it's 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 spring, okay? And spring means kitty cat fur goes bye-bye. Uh excess fur, her winter coat, and I'm just covered in cat hair all the time now. And it gets like everywhere. It gets in my nose, on my microphone. It's kind of annoying. It's kind of annoying, Bobby. I always feel like I have like cat hair tingling my nostrils now. Anyways, I would be pretty surprised if the enemy team really sends anyone down this way. Just look at their light up right off the bat. Their light up is very much medium tank focused. So I kind of want to be able to, I don't even know if it's worth rotating in. See, it might be a bad idea to push into their spawn, because pushing into their spawn means they can sit hold on and shoot down on us. Uh, but my whole team kind of is doing that. I usually preach to not make this play, but I'm going to do it this time. Because I don't really know what other play there is for me to make at the moment, so... You know what, their team's not even going to be on, on the bridges, I think. I think most of their teams drop down. What type of support do I have? Not a lot, but we might have just enough. And we're going to be down to 268 as well in a moment, so I want to be able to make this rotation as quickly as possible. Really? 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 Where did he bend me? I wonder. Anyways, I should very easily out-reload this dude, so we'll put more Sean to him here. Hopefully to support my allies, this man will get taken out shortly. Hmm. Nice, okay. I want the crossfires. Oh, huge W by our Yag. W shot. There we go. Very big W shot there. Another W. Oh, nice! This is the perfect cover! Oh, this is the perfect cover. I don't know if the 268 is still there, but this cover is, is ideal, my dudes. Okay, I don't think the 268 is still in that particular location. The 62A overextending maybe a little bit here, so let's put a quick shot on the one. Get a my 7 My mans, that's how it's done. I'm gonna keep playing defense over here. The IS-7 should be okay for the time being. E-50M's gonna be a bit of a problem, though. Yeah, that's right, Mr. E-50M. That's right, get stuck on that wall, buddy. Yeah. Okay, that's not so good. Gotta keep covering my allies as much as I can here. Gotta start clearing out guns, too. Another quick clear. Come on, come on, come on, come on, with a heat shell, maybe. 
Oh my goodness, no, now the proc's just gonna yellow in on me. Yeah, dude, this is unwinnable right now, <laughs> poor 62A. Oh, why do I have two piggies sitting in the back of spawn when my whole team pushed through town, man? They just should have rotated out. They should have just rotated out. Oh my good. Yeah, 60% win rate does one shot. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay. You must not be playing that on average. Recover from the jet lag yet? Hey, Joe, how's it going? Uh, let me give you moderator stats so it's easier to see you when you're in the chat. Oh, wow, they have uh, different moderators, standard and managing moderators. I did not know that. That's interesting. Unfortunately, but you did, um, <clears throat> unfortunately, but you did your best given the circumstance. Thanks, Shock. Yeah, I had a feeling when I looked at the enemy's lineup right off the bat, I could just tell that bridge side would be a really, really tough fight for us to win, which is why I thought maybe we could do a town play and kind of get the enemy team to split up a bit and take them out. Um, I could have played that maybe a little bit better. And maybe I should have just committed to the bridge fight, but I'm telling you, man, defending a bridge with the six degrees of gut depression is not fun. And I would have just been sitting there hoping my allies would be able to cover me and risk getting just yoloed over by like everyone on their team, which did happen, right? Their whole team pushed over the bridges. So I think overall is the right play, but once again, there just wasn't much I could do there. Okay. And of course, why is our medium tank and light tank going into C-cap? I don't have any support on this end at all. And if their meds decide, oh, it's time to push up here. As is the case. Give me that side of yours, buddy. Oh boy. And yep, here's where the fun begins, basically. Yo, teammates. You know what'd be really nice right now? Thank you. Some support on this Pepega Andy and the Leo over here who decided, oh, I'm gonna YOLO in. Oh, I'm gonna YOLO in. I'm a, I'm a special Leo player. Average guy, or like average Pepega. YOLO all the way to the enemy's spawn and lose a thousand HP for a silly YOLO. Good job, dude. You're in Nox too. You should not be making plays like that. All right. Well, my teammates are winning heavy side somehow, so I gotta just get out into heavy side. Let's see what we can do from here. My gosh. How much do you want to tunnel? Yes. <laughs> Oh, I've gone down to a safer position now. Man, if only I had another degree of gun depression. Yeah, not much I can do about that. Now I just gotta watch my rear, basically, at this point. Still got a lot of dudes be chilling behind us a little bit over here. Oh, come on, gun, stop trolling me. Now really isn't the time to be trolling me. They in a platoon? Nope. They're not. I knew the enemy team had a platoon, so I thought I would see. Hmm, the enemy Leo's right around that corner, I think. Oh, 62A pushed up. Interesting play. Very interesting play, Mr. 62A. Nice try. Oh, look who's still yellowing around like a absolute mad lad. Oh my. What was that play? Okay, but I'm not getting any damage this game. One win is all I wanted, but nah, this is not even going to be an enjoyable win, to be honest. Oh my goodness, these Andes over here are something special, aren't they? Oh, really? Two eighty two. Nah, I have three thirty alpha. Get out of here. It's like a, it's like a, a fifty alpha low roll. What? <laughs> I want a better game. I want a better game now. <laughs> this ain't it, Chief. This absolutely ain't it. Oh my goodness. What a, si what a silly game, dude. All my meds went heavy side. We somehow won that side, but maybe because we had a bunch of meds over there. 
And Asbro, do you stream in the new IS4? I don't know. Do I want to play? I, do I want to play? Do I even want to play an IS4 in this type of matchmaking? I don't. I'm not feeling it. My am I tripping or does it kind of look like a 140 now? You are absolutely not tripping, Fidu. Its turret is smaller than a 140s now. I'm not even joking. Its turret shrunk to about the size of 140s, and the angling massively increased on the front, so its effective armor feels a lot better. 68's turret is actually pretty insane. Okay. Um. Assuming you're not in a absolutely terrible situation. That game was kind of rat. I probably should have just gone heavy side with my meds there, but like I don't really like fighting heavy side in a tank that has six degrees of gun depression if I can help it. Alright, quick shot to the M60. Nice. Perfectly average roll. Alright. Hello, Mr. 121. Uh-huh. Let's see. They got a type in the mid. Looks like this dude already got nuked by a tank destroyer. That's great. Great news. The pad's pulled back quite a bit, hasn't he? Not all the way out though. Oh, he's kind of all the way out, actually. Come on, one, two, one. Let's play. Probably still there, right? I'm just nervous. They have an unspotted Hovery in 183. I don't want to overextend for this particular reason here. I'm not- I'm not pushing into the corner. I know I'm taking a shot from the Hori. I am not overextending there and getting crossfired out by everything. Yep. Patton's back. The Hori's pushing in super aggro now. Probably should just get out of here to be honest, but... What can I do about it? Oh my gosh, this Hori is very lucky. Oh my gosh, Gun, can you- do you mind not trolling me? Forever? There we go. Paul Armor doing his job there. Yeah, why don't, why don't y'all keep poking over? Yeah, why don't y'all just keep doing that? Yeah, yeah. Y'all just keep doing that. Please, please. Everyone just continue yoloing over. It's a great idea. I promise you. Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, Hori gets taken out at least. Still, I'm getting shot at the booty cheeks now. That's not good at all. Oh, my gosh. I'm lucky. It's a Type 71 that's just shooting at me. Okay, any chance I can pull up a little bit and get out of this crossfire? Okay, I might be out of the crossfire now. Nice, the panel also got taken out, so that's a W. You see the one two ones is like, ah, uh, how do I bend this dude? I have 330 alpha damage. One can only hope that I manage to pick up the kill here. Even if I die to the Hori, which is probably going to be the case. <gasps> 62 a armor profile is insane. Holy smokes. I love the 62 A's armor. It's so troll, dude. It's absolutely troll. Okay. So gaming on these fools like it's nothing. Oh, the type got taken out. W. I gotta watch out for the other T. Oh, snap. Yep, 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 yep. That's what I gotta watch out for. Holy smokes. Was I spotted the whole time too? Okay. There's the, there's the Yag. He's gotta back up, right? Come on, back up, Yag. This will be a good last game to leave uh, off of the 62A at least for now. <laughs> I wanna play some derp tanks. Thank heavens. I was prepared for that 183 to be there, man. That could have been really, really bad for me. Okay. I think he backed up a little. Oh the, oh, the Kron's AFK. Let's go. W. W farm in the chat, boys. I think I deserve this. I deserve this damage. Whatever damage I do manage to get on this dude, I get. I deserve it for my stellar holding gameplay on the flank, I think. Which is not going to be much damage. It's going to be one more shot, I think. 5.3k. Okay, I take that. We were uh, in integrated strategies for. Oh, enchanté. <laughs> Let's use that to like mark. We're at it. Oh, finally. Took me way too long to get another good game in the 62A. Holy, 2,000 block damage, 5,300 damage dealt. Sadly, only a first class. I think I, I think that should have been an ace personally, but I'll take it. Um, Yeah, that was a very interesting game. There we go. Well, I got a premium pass apparently. My opinion on the, on the 62A has not changed. I actually think the 62A is still really, really good. I definitely feel the lack of gun depression, but dude, the armor just feels like it got better. And I swear the sides got a little bit better. 
I don't know if they're like slightly angled or something, but the sides definitely feel pretty like troll now, especially when you can see in the hit skin, it's like way redder than it used to be. Upper plate still super troll. Turret is way better, I think. It, it shrunk, it got like more angles. Um, and so I really do like that the 62 is little groove it's dug out for itself. It feels quite nice. Um, it's up to you if you want to grind it out. There are, of course, a lot of very competitive options in tier 10 for med tanks, so that really will depend on you, but that felt great. Oh my lord! Naughty with the 20 gifted members. Thank you very much, Naughty. Do appreciate the support. W Naughty in the chat. My guys, I'm gonna have some fun. I'm gonna have some fun games real quick. Just real quick. <laughs> I'm just gonna yeah, make sure you say a shout out to Naughty in the chat. If you do receive a membership from Naughty, make sure to send Naughty a specific thank you message in the chat as Naughty is the connoisseur. That has allowed my channel to reach probably like 90% of its members. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Naughty did it again. Imagine still playing this game. I agree, dog. Hey, dude, how's it going, douche? How, how is it going? Anyways, what do you think we did today, guys? 40%? I'm not too sure. I'm thinking around 40% in the 62 way. That's just a hunch. Somewhere around there. 40% uh, and except for a couple games, mostly 4k average for the most part. Except for a few games later on towards the end of the stream. But, um... Yep, that is, you know, that's that's about the new, that's the new what blots experience, my dude. Yeah, yeah, if you're good at the game, prepare to lose more than you win. Which is very counterintuitive. You wouldn't think being good at the game means you lose more, but, you know, that's just how Blitz works. And also, my tank is way too tall. That's nice meme. <sighs> Yikes, that hits hard. That hits real hard, don't it? Ain't it? All right, my tablet, my esteemed, well, my esteemed guests, you know what time it is. Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? It is time for me to pull into the most rap position, pick up a kill on this dude, and now create a cover sh cover fire. Yes, because we don't snipe in our 183, guys. We two shot the E50 and we take map control away from the enemy team because that's how it's done. Also, 628, please stop bleeding for your own sake. Stop bleeding. Look at this chieftain. This chieftain's like, I don't know if I want to poke the big bag 23. Anyways, I'm almost a two shot, so I should take it easy, preserve my HP, just let one of them overextend. But look, the chieftain's just terrified for his life. He's like, nah, I can't poke this, guys. And now our version four is being an absolute menace. My only concern is maybe no one's not really all that much spotting up our flank right now, and they have two unspotted version fours. And our version 4 may have overextended a little bit here, so now I'm pretty useless. But hey, at least they're not going to poke hill anymore. They're not going to poke hill anymore. That's the good news. Um, the bad news is they're not going to poke me either. So, no farm. No farm? Question mark. <laughs> what is happening? You know what? I just got to give credit to my team. They didn't, they didn't yell around and counter cap. Respect. Teams can't seem to do that anymore. They, they always got a yellow around in counter cap nowadays. Maybe a little too, uh, maybe a few too many of you guys are sitting here though. That might be a bit problematic later. Oh, there's one of the version fours. Good to know. Oh boy. Oh, well, let's uh, stretch a little bit and prepare ourselves for this moment. Come on, little version four. It's time for you to go across the river. Time for you to go boom boom. Time for you to go boom boom. Come on, I know there's a tank behind me, but I gotta make this dude go boom boom first. Okay, now he can pull down. Oh no 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 no! Don't 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 shoot at me. That's just rude. Thank you so much, dude. I was starting to get concerned there for a moment. Okay, so that version four is taken care of. Problem solved. Um, would you like to be an absolute legend and spot him up for us, please? I can't afford to take a shot from that version 4. <gasps> but I can afford to re-aim. Nice. 3,700 damage dealt, ladies and gentlemen. This is how it's done. Okay. While the other Andes are sniping in the back with their team to 183s, I'm out here frontlining like a champ. Okay, but the only problem now is this this version 4 is kind of in a wrap position for my team to deal with. I just killed another one of my allies. Maybe the Kampfpanzer can deal with them. 
<gasps> w Conf Panzer. W Conf Panzer. Okay, here's the L part though. Now the good news is I haven't been spotted in a hot minute. I need to have them just sit stationary. We gotta let them overextend on us. If we don't let them overextend on us, it's Drover. So we're gonna have to take it nice and easy here. Ah, sir, that's not how you take it nice and easy. That's not how you take it nice and easy. You gotta let them get overconfident and push on us. We just gotta hold. I hope that Chieftain doesn't flank around this side. The only good news is that I have like double trees in front of me, so he might have to overextend before he gets spotted. In which case, maybe I can shoot him. I'm just gonna hazard a guess that that Chieftain's gonna flank around the hill. Oh no, he he's not. Interesting. He's defending the flank instead. Hmm. Well, this is gonna be a long game. Welcome to the mines experience. I thought for sure the Chieftain would flank. Oh no. Oh dear. Now my position is compromised because I can get shot from behind from the WZ. He won't be able to spot me just yet. I gotta wait for one of them to overextend a little bit here. This VK might be the perfect opportunity. I gotta kill the VK first. I should still be unspotted. Oh my gosh, you silly, you silly, you silly mans. You're supposed to just sit there and let them overextend on you. You're not supposed to poke them like that. Oh my gosh, dude. Our cough pads are really messed that one up, didn't he? Oh. Standard hash? What? Nah, that's a scam if I've ever seen one. Well, it is time to die. It is time to die. Hello, mister. Hope you are doing well, mister. <laughs> oh, Confenser version 4. You had one job. What was our KPZ doing? He just get, he had full HP and he just threw it all away without doing a single shot of damage. Like, dude. You just gotta let them overextend on you. We had a good crossfire there. You just had to hold back. Oops, I accidentally muted my mic. My man, my man, one job. Oh, welcome to the mines experience. Uh, what, what's happening in chat, guys? <laughs> Remember, no, no, too, too much cap spam is not good. Color depends on how long you have been a member. Ah, yes, for the channel things, yes. And uh, if your member, your membership will reset the moment it expires, by the way. So not even the absolutely Giga Chad has quite the color. And a few other Giga Chads here, I think have reached the magenta color level, which is like the, the peak level you can reach. <laughs> I'll poke with a stick, it's angry. Context when HRO shot the version four, basically. If he gets hash, I'm a bust. I know, dude, if I, I got scammed against that chieftain. If, like, I don't even know where it hit on his flat side there. Uh, it must have hit down near his tracks because that's a standard HE pen there on the side. If I could have at least gotten a full hash pen on that chief, the game would have been worth. I still did fine there. Uh, there really wasn't anything else for me to do that game, unfortunately. Um, our 62A did not play hill defense very well. And then we had all the other dudes just kind of die. Yeah. Okay. So, let's see what we can do about this, though. Hello, Mr. Vickers. Really? Only 500? Okay. His whole flat side. Where did I hit? Maybe his mantlet? Um, you're not really gonna do this, are you, 54? That Kampf Panzer is happy to make you go bye-bye. Collectively with me. What type of low roll was that? What type of low roll was that? Anyways, I gotta pull the safety. Nice. All right, me and the KPZ here easily cleared out this side, I think. Yes, Mr. KPZ, you got this. I believe in you, Mr. KPZ. Okay, uh, I'm probably proxied here, so I'm not gonna overextend here. Like our KPZ here. Our KPZ friend may have uh, overextended just a little bit. Gonna back up so he can't spot me, hopefully. He might still be proxying me. I kind of just want to yellow out, but I know the Hori and E4 are kind of pre-aiming, so I don't want to do that. Oh no, it's just a Hori, yeah? Ah, oh, heck, if it's just a Hori, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll take one for the team here. No, no, no. No, oh, perfect. Okay, well, I didn't want to take one for the team if someone else was going to clear him, but... 
You know what? It is what it is. We now have control of the enemy spawn. That's all we need. Because flanking 183s has really become the norm, you know? Oh my gosh, why was my controls glitching out there? E4 doesn't see me, right? Nice. Very, very nice. Okay. So who's going to be the next one to die? No, I feel like getting some revenge on this Hori. So the moment he shoots and pulls back, I'm, I'm going to destroy him. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Very satisfying indeed. <gasps> no, no, you don't, IS-7. IS-7, you're such a meanie. How could you do that? Come on, come on, come on. I believe. Oh my gosh, that shot was insane. All right, 4.5k damage dealt. We are cooking, my dudes. We are confirmed chefs over here. Welcome to chefhood. All right, one more HE shot, please. <laughs> Bruh, that E4 just got ratted on. <laughs> I edging to this one. What the? What the hell are you saying, buddy? You need to chill. <laughs> the front line gameplay, the one eight three, is insane. We don't we don't do no sniping around here. Aiming is for the non intellectuals. I agree, dude. I don't know if my screen is like it's like uh, it's not like detecting my hands. So I kept scoping in and like looking the wrong way because I was swiping to the right and it wasn't detecting it. So let me get my screen a little wash down real quick. <laughs> KPZ 50 OP 183 pull 183 is insane Giga Chad tank <laughs> So wanted to stimulate himself to their game dude I I I saw I was reading chat and I was like what the Okay Two and a two and a half hours and I've gotten this map multiple times every single time I have been on the rat spawn every single time the only good news here The only good news here is they only have a TVP, and then they have two super heavies, a third heavy that's only a HE heavy, a 2 and 5 v which is a little more annoying, and two TDs. The odds of them sending their team aggressively through the A ditch is pretty low. It could still happen. It probably will happen. Um, but I think I have a better chance this time. The Fortune 2 should spot in the bush from capping. That way we can get early information of what their team's doing. I'm going to have to take it easy for now. There's really nowhere for me to go. Control, I don't think it's beneficial. I've had negative win rate from this, but hope the games will become more predictable. Ah, uh, are you talking about the matchmaker? I mean, if you're better at the, if you are like over 50%, I'm just, maybe not over 50%, if you're over like 60%, I think you will notice a negative impact with the matchmaking to your games. At the same time, I've kind of given up on it just a little bit. Okay. How low in the reticle do you want your shot to go? Yes. Yes, that's that's all. Yes. That's how low I want it to go. Yes. Oh. Ho ho ho. Oh come on, come on. Keep backing up a little bit more there, buddy. How far to the right do you want it to go? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is why I should just be shooting AP, dude. Is it worth it for an extra 300 damage? It's not even 300. It's like 250, I think. I'm sorry to think Hesh isn't even worth it in the 1A3 anymore. Like some of my better games, I was just spamming AP the whole time. Hmm. Well, Perhori is making a very interesting play. For want of a better word. Oh my gosh, that had to hurt. That was some TVP autoloader syndrome if I've ever seen it, buddy. Alright, 422, he's all yours. Get him, buddy. My man! He got him. Okay, we still gotta watch out for the 183. Our Hori is kind of in a, a bit of a sticky pickle. Sticky pickle might be an understatement. He is in a very sour pickle. <laughs> Alright, we know where the 183 is. We know where the BZ... Oh my gosh, I had an HG shot on the BZ's turret rear and I didn't even realize. It was an L for me to not notice that. 
Who do you think has the better gun? Me or the, uh, the other dude? Clearly me. Alright, good news. The 422 should be able to spot my right side if I get pressure to buy the 183. Bad news. I am by myself over here. Versus a 215B, which is an L. If I can AP pet him once, I might be able to actually get him here. I gotta back up. I gotta back up. Come on, 215B. Just, uh, just don't notice me, please. Okay, nice one, 422, but don't bleed if you can help it, my dude. Oh, this is not good. Our 57's gonna die as well. Uh, it's Jover for us. It is so Jover for us. The only good thing I can do is sit here with my camo activated. Nice and quiet. <laughs> get him, 57. Get him. Get him, 57. Get him. You got the opportunity. Go, go, go. He's in the open. Kill him. Kill him. No, you silly man. Ay, ay, ay. What, what a silly man. All right, boys. We have lost the game. We may have lost the game, but we have not lost the mission. The mission being more damage. Oh, yes. No HE for you, good sir. Oh, sir, that's so uncool of you. <laughs> skill issue. Insane skill issue, bro. Yep, I'm telling you, man, that it, it's so hard to win from this spawn. Although this time my teammates like hardcore through. Um, we managed to take control of A. Ah, uh, yes, our, 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 ah, a 44% 260. And platooning with a 50%er. Why on earth are you doing with a 44%er? Uh, and 18, 54%. And 56%. That is the difference. And uh, our, uh, you know what's crazy is how many of these players are 50%ers, but they are just doing like one or two shots of damage consistently. <laughs> Some players will kill themselves just to dip their shells and it always be so much. Eh? Just to dip their shells? How so? How's the new matchmaker? A little diabolical. Uh, if you're good at the game. Yeah, that's, that's how I would put it. I'll get used to it and my gameplay will adjust based on it eventually. Um, but I think the days of solo, like 80, 90% win rate accounts, um, 80, 90% win rate sessions for like 20 games, which I used to get pretty consistently back in my heyday are kind of over. Actually, I would expect my average win rate in 30 day from now on to be somewhere around maybe 40 to 50 percent i'm gonna be honest um i will play some games on my own account off stream because i wanted i want like the fairest objective view on matchmaking and when i'm streaming that's kind of like uh a bit hit or miss so i will play a decent amount of games on my account to see how the matchmaking deals with it and uh then i'll get then i'll formulate a proper opinion but for now like i said i like to take my time with these types of things i don't want to just instantly say good or bad Although I'm pretty sure it's bad. It's not the best if you're good at the game, but you know, what can I do about it? What? How did that ricochet? How on earth did that ricochet, man? Okay, KPZ's making the same misplay at least. Oh my, you, oh my gosh, dude. This 55 rammed into me the moment I shoot. I shot. I'm like, why did my reticle fly up randomly? I wasn't even moving there. Dude, that's... Oh, that's beyond annoying. That is beyond annoying. Also, look at my teammates right now. Enemy armor is damaged. Do I have any kind of support here? Not really. VK, please push up and help me. Help a homie out here. I don't even think I can back up here. I'll have to, though. I don't have a choice. The only option is to back up into safety. Safety, I say, as I'm getting shot up the rear. I'm dead to the, to the T-30, I think, or the E-3, if nothing else. Yep. Oh, we may as well try and get one more shot in. Nope. 
All right, let's see what my allies are doing. So we got Locos number one over here, sitting in a ditch doing absolutely nothing. We got 260 over here. Um, dead. Wow. I just realized I got that same Pepega platoon on my team again. Look at this, dude. By the way, new matchmaking prevents games from being as one-sided. Oh, ha. I do think Wargamer needs to tweak the algorithm just a little bit. This is, uh, this is very yikers, man. Yeah, that's, that's twice now I've had this bot platoon on my team. All right, same ones, same 260 doing bottom damage. Apparently this, uh, this, this VK just did nothing. Zero, someone rammed him, I think. And this 55A ruined my shot. That KPZ should have been dead. Although I'm playing a 183. I really do not expect to win in a 183. I just like observing. Uh, when are you going to do Progeno 65, bruh? I mean, 65 Progeno hasn't really changed all that much since I last streamed it. Time to roll out. Alrighty. Can we, uh, can we not... Thank you. No more platoons. Thank heavens. I was kind of tired of having the same 44% 260 on my team multiple games in a row there. So hopefully this game will be a little better. If you're going to be bad, at least be bad in a medium tank or a tank destroyer. Because bad heavy tank players are the worst. Simply because heavy tanks are so pivotal to each battle. Like, where are these Where are these fools going? Like, Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Look at them. They can't even d figure out how to drive out of spawn. Alrighty. Let's see. What are my crons doing? Oi, 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 oi. Oh my. 215B may have may have overextended just a little bit there. I didn't think he was even gonna poke that, so honestly, I wasn't pre-aimed in at all. That you got absolutely wrecked. Holy. Nope, not today, buddy. Not today. I got an Amorak to hit today. Huh? What? A completely gray side shot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Looks like their team is not doing too well here. I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm going to be honest. Their team is not doing so well. Oof. All right, now I'm having a good game in the 183. Except I should be at like 4k damage now. But, um, you know, for some weird reason, apparently the side of a 260s turret is just auto ricochet now. Pick up a kill there. Very saucy indeed. Oh my gosh, he got he got himself nuked by the grill. Mine damages. Do we believe? Do we believe? I believe. Enemy armor destroyed. Sick. Well, that is that game done. Now we must decide what we are going to do. Ah, this dude's long dead before I can get to him, I think. He's about to get eaten by a 268 as well, and, and uh, yeah, it's Jover. Jover for damage farm, but I'll take this game. I should have had more damage though, but uh, you know, <laughs> the uh, Object 777's turret armor is just like, no you. Oh, I'm gonna go grab the M M1A2 set V2 on War Thunder. Have fun, Naughty. Thanks for dropping by as always. 4.7. Not bad. Not bad. All right. We'll play like one more in the 1E3. And then since it's already 5.30. It doesn't feel like 5.30. It feels like it should be 4.30. But uh, thanks, Daylight Savings. 1A3 showcase. Uh, yeah, well, I played for over two hours at the 62 way. And uh, overall, I like the 62A experience. I wasn't a huge fan of the teams, but eh, you know. Well, this matchmaker for Duel's modding vids. Ah, has he has he made quite a few videos on them? Ah, Bobby! Bobbers! What are you doing? You crazy cat! I hope she didn't ruin the stream. She just jumped on my keyboard and absolutely like uh yeah, 
I mean, she might have disrupted it a little bit. No, don't tell me she she recycled the memberships. Oh, thank heavens. If she'd recycled all 20 gifted subs from earlier, we would have had to listen to that notification. All right, Bobby, stop being such a silly kitten. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, I do. You may you may be you you are excused. You can go elsewhere. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you already talked about what you think about the new matchmaking? Mostly! I mean, if you've watched any parts of the stream, you'll get my overall opinion. My opinion is, is just like, it's not pleasant if you're good at the game. Especially, like, the better you get, it gets, like, consecutively worse. Um, but my approach is just to kind of accept that win rate's no longer gonna be a, a actual statistic that has any value. And instead, it's just gonna be based on how well a player can deal damage consistently. Which sucks because I've, I've, you know, once again, I've always said that that shouldn't be the sole statistic for performance. But in these cases, I don't think I have much of a choice because, I mean, you saw, I lost like three games in a row in the CC's 2A with like 5k damage, all of them, um, I think. And it's just like, yeah, there's just not much you can do about it, you know? So you just gotta, gotta accept that and move on. And so I think just your overall damage performance and stuff will be more indicative of player skill. And that's just how I'm gonna tackle it without driving myself insane because if I try too hard for win rate, I will legitimately go insane. All right. Well, that was incredibly lucky of the concept. What are you doing, Bobby? What the heck? Kazumi Shinki. <laughs> what are you doing over here? But Oh, my lordy. There's a V4 here as well. Oh, my. Bombed. Absolutely bombed. E3, H-E it. H -E it. My man. Knows what's good. You gotta stay back, my dude. You gotta stay back. Okay, he's gotta turn the moment the Chieftain gets spotted on his side. Right? Nope, he's a Tunnel Vision Andy. Oh, he's a Tunnel Vision Andy. Oh my gosh. Have you guys ever seen a Tunnel Vision Andy this bad before? All right, Tunnel Vision, Andy, prepare yourself. You are about to feel some pain. Oh! What? Wait, wait. How did my tank go from that to that without me hitting the backwards arrow? What the heck? Okay, that that felt like a absolute scamiosa there in terms of um, the game. I'm not really sure about that one, man. That felt really weird. I swear, I, I didn't even hit, tell my tank to drive backwards. That's why I'm so confused. Let me pick up a kill over there. You got it, Batcha? Nice. All right, well, our Karo's dead. It's a one-shot 57, a 1600 HP Patton. I do have a healthy Bash the on with me. That's the good news. Oh, of course. I'm still spotted, huh? I should not be spotted anymore. He's going to take one more shot. Yeah, okay. 57's clipping. Batcha's going for a bit of a flank here. I think if that's going to be the case, I'm just going to hold up here. I'll let the Batjack clear to 57. I'll at least put one shot to the Patton if he pulls around this corner. That's the goal. I don't know which way the Patton's going to go. That's why I'm going to take it easy for now. And the Patjack is full HP. Oh, interesting. So that's where he is. Hmm. All right, Batjack. Careful, 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 buddy. You don't have the DPM for this. If you get caught out by both of them, it's Jover for us. So please take it nice and easy there, dude. Okay, let me see if I can hit, like, a shot and see Mr. Patton here or something. Dang it. He spotted me, too. That's a rip. Dude, what is our bad chat doing? He had full hit points. Why did he YOLO in? Oh my gosh, he's dead now. Dude, that is a yikes. What on earth, man? Well, I think our bad chat kind of threw that, to be honest. Um, I could back up Hella here and try and bait him into pushing me in from the front. I gotta kill the Patton first without taking a single shot and then pull far enough away where the 57 won't be able to capture me out. Something tells me that that's not gonna happen. 
Hmm. Yeah, man, that silly bat shot. You just have to kill the one shot. That's all. Oh, I'm dumb. I didn't think there was a wall there. I am so dumb. It's Jover. It is Jover. Dude, he just YOLOs right out in the open, too. Unless I can bait a shot here. No, I don't think I will. Oh my gosh, man. Our bat shot. Oh, I didn't have the... I should have... I was going to sit at that corner and pre-aim there. I should have. I literally would have killed him for free. Gosh. Okay, dude. Uh, my man's. What is that? Please don't spam the channel. Well, that was an. Wait, we had a platoon of 57s that game. Ah, they were both 45s or 49, 45s. Well played to their uh their pattern. Well played to their 50. Oh wow, yeah, they had. Well, that was a 40. Why is a 45 percenter playing with a 60 percenter? That just seems sus. Oh, it's a Smurf account, ain't it? Here's. Here's what I think is going to happen. In what world would any 65%er want to play with a 45%er? Unless. Unless. Platooning with an absolutely terrible player means you get better teams. If that's going to be the case, people are going to abuse it just to try and get win rate. I wonder if that's what they're doing. Because... There's like a few times now where I've seen like high, like, you know, 60 percenters platooning with absolutely terrible accounts and it doesn't make any sense. I think they're trying, I think they're trying to get the matchmaker to basically just give them better teams by having a completely bot platoon mate. <laughs> I, I, I'm wondering if that's what they're trying to do there. Because that seems a little bit sus. Oh, look, look who's on my team this time. Let's see. Is it an actual 60 percenter with a 45 percenter? In what world would that platoon ever make sense? It shouldn't. Oh my gosh, how luck... Well, our Progetto just died. Um, fortunately, their 62 got nuked for it, but he should have lost more HP there, to be honest. Wow, this is a very aggressive game. I don't even know what I'm watching anymore. I'm watching everyone YOLO around like crazy here. A thousand hash damage. Nice one, dude. Uh, guys, no one's gonna watch our rear for the 62A? No? My whole team's in a ditch, dude. That's bad. They have no map control now. Our Yag has managed to pull back a bit. What? Oh, yeah. Why does this man have this camo? You don't deserve that camo. Well, this camo was never deserved. Uh, except for the original, like, nine people that got it. Oh, my gosh. Look at this dude popping reactive. Like, that's going to stop a Hesh shell for going through his side. <laughs> you silly man. You absolutely silly man. Um, so what's our chieftain doing? What are the rest of my teammates doing over here? That's the real question. Okay. We got the Harry Poon over here driving through town looking for absolutely no one. The enemy team have seven tanks over here. Our 57 went AFK because he gave up on life and honestly, don't blame him. Our pro... What? Dude, my whole team just sat in a ditch all game. They didn't even move out of a ditch. What? Hmm. Bobby, what is your take on this? What is your take on this, Bobby? What is your take on this? <laughs> what is your take on this? Rat. Rat gameplay. Oh, what the heck? It's not swapping. What happened? It's using the shortcut on my browser. Oh, it's because Bobby's sitting on the shift key. Oh my gosh. Wait, shift the control. Let's 
control. She zoomed out like a thousand percent. Well, let's see what type of team I had. So we had this player here, who is apparently a 50 percenter, by the way. Apparently. Um, press X to doubt. This dude, 50 percenter, overextended, got himself killed. 48 percenter. Um, we have our favorite 45 percenter here. I did 3.6k damage. Hmm. What is your opinion on this, Bobby? What is your opinion? What What is your opinion on these teams, Bobby? I just want one fun game in the 183, and I just can't have a fun game in it because my team's so shuck. I should just go out there, reroll, lose every single game I can conceive of, become a 45 percenter, and just have fun. No wonder we lost, dude. Our chieftain was would have been so valuable in med side that game, but dude was just dude was just trolling. He basically didn't care. Nice, nice team. All right. Can I please not have a bad team, so I can at least have a fun game? Oh man, that chieftain getting he in the side for fifteen hundred was very satisfying, though. I will admit. But he popped reactive. Apparently, he doesn't realize reactive only applies to standard rounds and heat and APCR. It does not, in the slightest, apply to high explosive rounds. And he didn't realize that. Oh my... Dude, I wasn't even looking. I didn't think anyone would make a play so silly like that. Oh my gosh, what is happening? I think our meds are... I think our meds are toast, man. Yeah. And you know what? I think their whole team's going dunes as well. So I don't know how much longer I want to even stay out here. Maybe I can at least pick up a kill on the prog. That'll be my goal. Gotcha. I'll take that. I will happily take that. At least we killed one of them. A, one, a two for one trade. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. No, we don't have to completely run away, boys. We still need some degree of crossfire here. Mr. Minerato. If we don't have any crossfires, it's going to be Jover for us. Now Bobby is sitting right here. He can't see her, but she's sitting like on top of my keyboard and I hope she doesn't hit any any key, keys. All right. Well, a bit of tunnel vision. A rat. A bit of a nuisance of a team that is noise. Yeah, basically. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Someone's trying to cap and counter cap. Um, which is probably not the smartest idea, to be honest. This encounter cap is way too much in the open for you to do anything of relevance on it. Hmm, that's not gonna work out in my favor. Oh. Whoops, not today, buddy. I wanna see him back up just enough to give me that easy shot. Okay, you know what? Not worth. Not worth. He's just gonna sit he's just gonna sit there like a little like a little Pepega Andy. And meanwhile, my heavy tanks are getting wrecked over on the rails, so that's cool. <laughs> Maybe not. This should be okay. Once again, the problem's gonna be the crossfires, I think. We don't really have any. That's the problem. So, 400 alpha. We know the chieftain's out there in the dunes, somewhere back there, probably still. I'm going to keep my distance just a bit here so I can support my teammates from back here. Wait, 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 aim, 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 aim. Oh my... I swear, the more you aim, the more likely you are to just absolutely miss a shot. I should have just snapped it because I guaranteed I would have hit if it was a snap shot. What was that? Fully aimed in and now this dude that should have been dead is still alive. Let's see. We might be able to rotate back to the T22 bit here, but he's probably not going to stay there. I wouldn't expect him to. He's in kind of a disadvantage in that position there. So I kind of doubt he would stay in that spot. The enemy team does seem to be kind of rotating back though, so that's weird. And interesting. Alright, that's huge. That's a huge hash shot there. Now I just need to make sure my allies are safe on the other side. Are they starting to push on this side? I think they are. 
think they're beginning their counter push. Let's aim this shot in carefully. Another thousand damage. Nice. We are going to lose the top side, though. Um, yeah, the 263 believes it's at least pin one shot on some. No, that's a rip. Okay. Boys, how are you not winning that side at least? Oh my gosh. And you're just going to let them sit there and shoot at me because y'all y'all are completely like... Oh my goodness, this teammates, man. Bro, they just sat there. What do you mean you can't kill the chieftain that I nuked in the T-22 on 1,000 HP? You're BZ in a full HP middle, man. Like, holy smokes. That's embarrassing. I don't really care if I get shot from behind at the moment. Really? Zero damage. Uh-huh. It's over. Holy... RBZ and, uh... Minotaro could not kill a single T22 on a thousand HP and a, a chieftain that I had nuked for 1200 right before. That's crazy, man. They just have to push up. I don't know why they're sitting at the bottom of a ditch. You're sitting at the bottom of a ditch giving them free shots on the top of your tank. All you have to do is pull over and they can't do that to you. Oh my lordy. Yep. These are Zivatisa. Man, I'm not even having fun in the 183. I'm getting, like, my headshots off, but it's just not making a difference. Let me go take something fun to end it off on. Take an E6. Oh, that's, uh, the 1E3 ain't cutting it. <laughs> Dude, what? How did our... I'm just so confused. It's a T22 with five degrees of gun depression. Or five or six or something. I think it's five. Um, And a Chieftain that has... Not the best APCR pen versus a Minotaur, which hold down if it pushed up properly is like almost impenetrable for those dudes. Both of them have terrible pen. Uh, with a BZ for support, running I think the 130. So like they should have been able to handle th those two tanks, and they were both full like whole full HP. And they lost that engagement. Not it's not slightly. They big time lost that engagement. Even with me nuking the chieftain for 1200 there. My goodness. Yeah, just goes to show that even business decisions are just as much of a, a gamble as the rest of life, I guess. Even business decisions? Wait, what do you mean business decisions? <laughs> oh, sure. Because who takes their medium tanks this aggressively around this corner here? Oh, okay. Sure. Alrighty, yep, their whole team is just around one little corner. Y'all have fun there. Poke again. Yeah, poke again, you, si you silly you silly players. What? Oh my god. Really? You're gonna let this one to one pull all the way out for free? Okay, I see how it is, guys. Now he lets himself get 183 as well. Nice. Hope again. How's everyone 100 doing? You wonder's chilling. STB's overextended as well. Oh, well, here comes the next yellower. Oh, of course, it rolled 650 and it's 560 alpha gun. Yeah. All right, let's see. Croc's still in the back of spawn. Oh, no wonder the meds were able to push up for free. Oh my goodness. Wait, you have double progs? Oh. Woo wee. Ay, ay, ay. As a 44 aspired to become tournament pro, this change is great because it shows I'm just as skilled as Unicons. XD. Yeah, you are nowhere If you're a genuine 44% winner player, you're not going to get to any tournament pro tournaments. <laughs> there's, a certain, there's a certain thing where career stats really don't mean anything in terms of tournament gameplay. That is a massive misconception. It is just the general criteria for for getting, like knowing that you're a decent enough player. 
Uh, try to show so many games you want. I don't feel like it. You can go back and count if you want. I was spamming a 183. I really, do you really expect me to win games in this matchmaking while spamming a 183? <laughs> oh my goodness. I just try to YOLO and kind of have a decent, fun battle that's engaging and enjoyable, but none of these games have been even slightly enjoyable. So yes, I'm playing kind of aggro. Because I don't feel like sitting and setting up a snipe and spawn for the full game while everyone else is just sitting there staring at each other. That just doesn't sound like a very fun experience. Which is why I am personally not playing all that passive, which is maybe a bad idea, but... Let's see. At least the 2 and 5B can usually cook up, so I'm gonna have faith in my good old-fashioned 2 and 5B. And have faith in the 2 and 5B's ability to cook. Cook, my friend. Show them what is up. Oh, really? Did he have a lower play? Sh oh my gosh, he had like a millimeter of lower play. I'm like, should not have had that much lower plate there. Mmm, doesn't feel so good, does it, Mr. Kron? <laughs> Okay, well, the, the flank is not really going to be a problem, to be honest. It really shouldn't be a problem. I will pull down, though, to provide some support. Um, but the 45 and STB are both pretty healthy. They should be okay. Should be being the key word. It, whether or not they actually are is a different question. Okay, let's see. Well, never mind. Our 4005 decided he's not going to help our, our dude and just ran away and got him and left him to die. That's 4005. Oh my gosh, you're going to leave our 57 to die as well? Enemy damaged. Oh my goodness. What am I watching? Alright, 45. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, together. Together we can do this. We're down 4-0. Yeah, we are not doing this. Dude, why did our 4005 run away? I came back to the and help him, and then he just runs away. He didn't have to. He and the 422 could have just insta-cleared a tank there, and it would have been GG. I, I, this, these decisions just don't make any sense. Which is no surprise, but still. It's like, what? Oh, I meant to switch the AP before firing that, but my reaction time was maybe a bit low. A bit on the slow side. This game is already over. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. This team. <laughs> oh my gosh. 60 TP, 263. They held for a while, so I'm not going to really hold it against them. Although they probably didn't end up doing much, judging by how little HP the enemy team lost on that side. What I want to know is... We had a bat shot on the flank, one shot dies. We had a 57 in spawn, two shots and dies. A 4 to a 2. 40 5 did nothing. And we had an STB there as well. We had four players in spawn, and they lost to a Sheridan, a 140, and a 4 to 2 that did a 1500 damage. Hey, we won the E6 game. Easy. Hmm. <clears throat> Just got conk. Tier 9 is great. Oh, yeah, yeah. 2 and 5B is still an insane steamroll again. <laughs> yeah, because apparently my four allies, including a tier 10 heavy tank and a tier 10 tank destroyer in spawn, could not deal with a couple medium tanks and light tanks that have zero armor. That's crazy. I don't know why the 405 ran away. I I'm still confused, dude. The 45 just ran and left the 422 to go 1 vs 3 against tanks that they both could have cleared very easily. 45 has like 1600 damage in the magazine. Like, that was a really silly relocation. I was there to- I was like already turning around getting ready to provide them support. They would have had a 3k DPM hash heavy tank, a 422 with hash, and a 405 with 600 clip attached. Like, the enemy team would not have won that engagement. Not in the slightest. But because our 422 ran off and let our 42, uh, 405 ran off, let our 422 die, I was just like, bruh. That's what it was just over. I agree, Bobby. I would leave too if I had to watch this gameplay. Like, you don't want 
uh, explain what on earth this conqueror is doing. That is um, pretty yikes, Mr. Conqueror. If I say so myself. But he was, I, I think, a little bit too tunnel visioned over here. Ah, APCR. But your APCR is not going to beat the fact that you are dead. Or almost dead. Enemy now you're a dead. Can we finally get a good game? Let's see. This is what I want. I think I'm definitely going to prefer playing mediums and, and lights though with this matchmaker because I need something that I'll be able to outrun all these silly teams. <laughs> or mobile heavies like a 2 and 5B might not be the worst actually. Yeah, I'm not letting myself get shot by that. Yeah, sorry buddy. Oof, the 183 just destroyed him. Hello, good sir. Please don't catch me on fire. This is really rude of you. I love the 2 and 5B. This take is so fun. Steamroll. Absolute steamroll. Not even close. Hmm. Something... Oh my gosh, this wasn't even a good game, dude. It was just a, just a one-sided steamroll. <laughs> What's fun about that? There wasn't any insane brawling. It was just a bunch of players that overextended and died. And, uh... Oh, well, that's why it was a steamroll. They were down one tank right off the bat. I see. I love, dude. This tank's gun is, like, next level insane. 3.7. Oh, well. <laughs> now play Conqueror, the better take in this line. Ah, uh, I think Tier for Tier Conqueror probably is better. Yeah. So, like... Was the, was the matchmaking on my side or something this game? Did the matchmaker decide I had lost enough games? Is this gun better than the E5's gun? Yes, way better. Except uh, E5 gets better heat. Better heat on the E5. 2 and 5B's gun, though, still my favorite uh, heavy tank gun in the game. <laughs> I still can't believe the, four, the 4005 left me to die. Or oh, were you the 4202? <laughs> <laughs> it was a it was a not very chat experience. Okay, can we like have one good game? Average boop 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 momento. That was uh yeah, they had three donuts. Really interesting gameplay. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't think the, this matchmaker is helping anyone get better at the game, but uh, I guess it's kind of here to stay. I've been kind of surprised how many of games have still been absolute steamrolls, especially my team's getting steamrolled, you know? Whoa, who spotted me? That's not cool. I don't want to overpeak that with two 183s. There's a VK over here. Okay. Our Vickers is making a very questionable play, but I'll let him do him. I'll let him do what he wants. That VK made an even more questionable play and died, basically. Problem definitely going to be our rear here. I can already tell this game's just not going to be very fun. 627. Oh my, of course. This dude's just gonna pull up sideways in the exact same spot he got nuked in not long ago. Because why wouldn't he? You really think this is a good idea, 200 LT? You're gonna get what? 269 extra damage. You just lost 800 for a minuscule increase in damage. Because I gotta keep this 200 LT off my allies here. 
or else this game is over for my team. Actually, my team is just dead. Wow. Oh, of course, they have a Vicar still sitting back here as well. Dude, what is my whole team up to? Yeah, this is over. This is over. I tried to defend my team's rear. Get wrecked. Get absolutely wrecked. Okay. Oh, so we do have a TVP or something back here. I didn't realize he was still around. He was so he was gone for so long. Enemy armor is hit. I believe in the two and five beast gun. Never mind, I don't. <laughs> Watch, I gotta make him, I gotta make him deal damage himself. Oh, no, not quite. 7-1. 7-0, 7-1. Matchmaking, this is not what I call balance. This is what I call absolute steamrolls when one team has a severe disadvantage in terms of uh, tank composition or player skill. Um, Not even close, yeah, hmm. Where did that Shkori even come from? Dude, man was out of the game like all battle. <laughs> so overall, what are your thoughts on the tank? Which one? The 62A or the 205B? If it's the 205B, I still absolutely adore this vehicle. <laughs> GG. I'll go back to what Astra is still going on. Can someone please update me in terms of winning more battles than losing? Oh, heck no. I am losing way more than I'm winning. Do you think the matchmaker is actually going to allow anyone who had 70% previously solo to win more? You're, you are dead wrong, my dude. I am full-heartedly embracing the 40% win rate sessions that will be the norm for good players now. If you're lucky enough to even reach 40%. Like, what are you supposed to do? Just play bad and hope that the matchmaker favors you? I, I'm a little confused about that. Because, like, what's the point of being good at the game anymore? If you're basically just going to lose more, the better you get. To me, that just doesn't really make sense. But, I mean, that's just how it is now. So, we will see. Because, uh, I'll say so far, the teams have not been very, very gracious at all. Hmm, almost. That was pretty risky, though. 183 could have bopped me there if I was not careful. Oh, are we gonna also just appreciate that this is like the, um, the billionth time now I have gotten this spawn on this map? Of course. Gotta make sure my team doesn't lose all the map control. That's why I went back here. Since their team's being super aggressive through the other side. Only problem is this WZTD here, maybe. Uh, 183, you're gonna have to kill that bat chat. I can't help you no more. No one's holding mid either, properly. This is not looking good for me and my allies here. Okay. Okay, nice, nice. Actually, it's looking better now. I wasn't sure for a moment there, but now I think we have a chance. I doubt the 1-2-1's one, gonna overextend. I want that 1-8-3 there to keep him at bay. The nice nuke, nice damaged. nuke, nice nuke. We're on fire. See, well, let's see if we can clear this dude that's huge for us. Ok, 
Okay. We'll probably be kind of cooked here. Question is where the WZTD go? Not which way the Conqueror is going. Oh, WZTD is on my left. Interesting. I don't care. I need to. I need to help clear a conqueror out. Okay, one eight three. I need your assistance here. Yep. I know. I know. Shaking my head, 183. How useless can you be? Holy, m holy moly. Spotted him up nice and early. Nice. Oh, that's good. He's backing all the way up now. Well, does he not realize I spot him on the rotation here? Alright, this will be the good W game if we win this one. Me and the 1A3 are gonna pull the Uno reverse card, I think, here. I'll either really aim it in carefully. I'm happy. Okay, that was a good game. Uh, 183 almost threw that, but well, we we ended up winning. We ended up winning. We had the bad spawn too. I'm very happy we managed to win that. I am very lucky. Uh, you know what? In the end, good job, 183. In the end, you you may have fluffed a few too many shots there uh, that you didn't need to, but we won. Um, poor SGRVK did not have a good game, nor did the Prague, 45%. Oh, this is the same Prague, 40% Prague tune I had, uh, earlier. They have a 65% tune, I take it. 55, 65, not too bad. Uh, there we go. Okay. Well, the two 5 bs alright. Ugh. I think I'll have to find what tanks are gonna be best if you're, like, uh, a 70%er in this matchmaker. What is the best tank combos you can run? That would be interesting. Remember to thank your allies for their outstanding performance in battle. Uh, nah, I'm not gonna thank most of them. Only the ones that were useful. <laughs> Which most of them are. Um, I got 70 sessions at 70%. Count me lucky. Hello. Yeah, getting 70 sessions at 70%. Not platooning would be pretty difficult. Fanis is... Huh? Said that one of my idols if we not hit 40-50% in this new matchmaking. Are you sure he has the new matchmaker? Because Tanks, Tanks Blitz or whatever it is, uh, is ran by a completely different company. It's not by Wargaming. <clears throat> not Warriors, like it might be worse and worse. I have faith. Oh, that eventually it will get better. It's just a bit of a transitional period. I might mauled about it a little bit here and there. Uh, but overall, I'm, I'm probably not going to complain too much about the new matchmaker because it's like something I can't fix or change just by complaining about it. We're going to make decisions mostly based off of their statistics and their data. And their data was that most players absolutely suck at winning. <laughs> so they wanted to try and fix that. <laughs> All right. Well, oh, he played EU server earlier. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That would make sense. Yeah. If he was playing on EU server, then yeah. Is that crazy though? Oof and jaw. Like 40, 50%. That's crazy. He is a high 70%er. One of the... I would say one of the top players on what was the CIS server. Easily 4k, the 4.5k in most of his tier 10s, no problem. And uh, if he's hitting 40-50% as well. Yeah. Let's just say the new matchmaker does its job, man. It does its job. It's trying to get me to 50% win rate as quickly as possible. <laughs> if I just think we're just gonna revert to the new matchmaker, uh, revert the new matchmaker. Mm, uh, to be honest, I, I would not. I would not expect it at any anytime soon. They might if it's like really, really bad, but I, I'm not I'm not too confident that it's gonna change. I think it's gonna be here to stay for a pretty long time. And so just better get used to it, right? 
like I said, for me, I'm just going to focus more on my average damage than my win rate because, yeah, that's just going to be hard to change. Although, at least I have, let's see, what is my account? How's MJ doing? Poor MJ. He's probably never going to reach 70% with this matchmaker. Uh, with 90,000 games, I have 73% win rate. The odds of me, oh, that's why. The odds of me falling below 70% on my account, it, I don't know how many losses in a row it would take, but it would take thousands of losses, I think, at this point to lose 3% at 90,000 games. So as long as I win like around 60% of the time, 60% of my games, I think I'll still be able to keep the 70% career. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Maybe one day. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for me today. That was my first time really playing Blitz since my round tank stream, which was only 15 battles. Um, yeah, Blitz, uh, it feels kind of the same. A little bit, a little bit more rat maybe, but overall the same. I will say for the most part, even though I was losing a lot of games, they weren't like the worst games in the world, especially like a good portion of the games early on. Even though I was losing, I was still doing a lot of damage, so I didn't feel too nasty about it, but I could see it eventually becoming more of a problem. We'll see. Anyways, 62 a very fine tank. I uh, do enjoy it a lot, and I think I think his armor is better, personally. Um, I hardly got pent through the turret at all. In that whole two hours of 62 a gameplay, I think I only got pent through the turret a few times. Um, so his turret is really good now, and it's hall as troll. Troll as can be. Uh, but yeah, anyways, thank you so much to the monster drum by everyone for dropping by the stream as well. Sorry that there was a little bit of mold. That's, that's to be expected. Uh, I'll see if I can get around to an IS Fortune uh, stream sometime as our trusty eyes for gosh this camo is ugly is there a better camera i can put on it mm, i'll find one eventually um as our is4 is uh now running at almost 2900 damage per minute and up uh, that what's that oh uh -huh. we got super sped boost ice will be interesting so we'll do an ice for stream next probably uh so until next time i will see you guys later take care and peace